Yeah, but during like January and February, at any time fitness, so like do the thing. Our workouts gonna take like two hours because yeah. people are just. But that's also how the gym stay open. Like. Oh yeah, I mean I'm not. <laughs> they sell their membership to those people. Uh huh. And then they never come back. Then those people, yeah. Money. They leave, but a lot yeah. of oh, well, not a lot, but a small percentage of them don't cancel their memberships. Uh huh. So, the guys like you who come in and use your membership every day and are yeah. wearing out the gear, you kind of cost them money. Yeah, they don't want And you're offset by the three guys sure. who never show up. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I don't remember who it was on Twitter. It was and me. You might have seen it, but it says something like, my, my willingness to get mm. in shape is offset by my unwillingness to go to the gym. Yeah, like, I don't want to... Yeah, the only thing I... The only thing that revolts me more than my own body is yeah. the idea of yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, Guys, welcome to my house, and welcome back to Dungeons & Dragons. And welcome to 2016! Hooray! 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 It's a Dude, new year. it's the fucking future. It uh, is the it future. Is. Does anyone have a New Year's resolution that they want to share? Herbie? I actually... Herbie? I... What? Herbie. Herbie? I abhor resolutions. Excuse me? I abhor them. <laughs> oh, abhor them. Okay. Uh, I thought you said a different word. Yeah. What you said. I did too. I Which, like, I mean, if that's. I, I thought that you were announcing that Fat Wizard was going to go live on, like, my free cams or something like that. <laughs> Which, yeah, more power to you, but. Well, as I understand that site, you don't need to get naked. You can just hang out there and be like, hey. <laughs> you can, you although actually it's girls only, so. Is it really? It is, yeah. Well, oh, well, wait, isn't there a guy? For, there's gotta be a guy. Oh, there's right. probably one. I wouldn't know what that is. Well, we should find <laughs> out. <laughs> Alright. Come along with us, chat. Right. Well, We're going on an adventure. adventure. Uh, I make some money. Because I would imagine there's a very and good market. has changed a lot in one year. Oh, man. guys or, or women looking for other guys. So for why not the same side? Like, Maybe yep. they have a sister side. They, they probably do. Wouldn't it, it seems like they, would, they wouldn't want to, but yeah, oh, they, want, they, they don't want to muddy the water. Kirby, do you have any New water. Year's resolutions that you didn't have but two I, minutes ago? No. <laughs> Bill, do you have any New Year's resolutions? Not really. Lobos. <laughs> nope. Jeff? I don't know what day it is. That's spectacular. <laughs> We're such an aspirational you? group. What about you? Uh, my New Year's resolution is to come up with some kind of... Um, ridiculously spectacular celebration for the end of January, which, as I'm sure everyone knows, will be our one-year stream anniversary. We'll be streaming. I'll be quite honest with you. I'll probably not have a milkshake. That's what you said last time, and then you had one, but then you didn't drink it. I'm not to be trusted. <laughs> I'll bring beer. Can we have a pizza party? I'll take it into consideration. Are we gonna do anything? Are we gonna do <laughs> <laughs> anything in my body yeah. for this celebration? <laughs> Should we do challenge pizza? Everyone picks an ingredient. Look, if we figure it out right now, then I've already Snickers. fulfilled my New Year's resolution. I won't get anything done for the rest of the month. Or a year, for that matter. That will. There was no hoping for that. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> off the table. Absolutely. Baby steps. <laughs> Um, before we go any further, I do want to do a, a real quick thank you, a shout out to Mac who sent us uh, over the Christmas break yet another book, Psionic Artifacts of Athos. This is from the revised second edition. It has the different Dark Sun logo that's different than the than the one you see. You can see like right above my head if you're looking at the stream. You're not not on my head. You guys can see my sweet wall of maps. That's pretty yeah, cool. I like he, that one. He's lot. got a sweet wall of maps. But then I also have this great book of Psionic Artifacts. Thank you, Mac. Thank you so much. Mac is super generous. Yes, super absolutely. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to our new Patreon Spancers. Spancers? Spancers. Spancers. <laughs> it's 2016. I could say whatever the heck it, I want. Is it Patreon or Patreon? I thought I it was... Patreon. Patreon makes sense, but I don't know. I've always heard it pronounced Patreon, but you're right, that doesn't make any sense. Because, like, Patreon's like, I'm patronizing you. <laughs> I thought it was like, I thought it was like, here you go, Brendan. I don't care, care as long as I get money. I thought it was like a takeoff of, like, the, you know, Pantheon or Yeah, you get money like either way, it's just the tone it's of the it is Patreon. different. So. Patreon makes a lot of sense. I've just always said it, Patreon. Like, patronizing. I've heard it both ways. Now I've heard it or, both or ways too much. Yeah. Yeah. It's like almost 50 50. Everybody stop. Yeah. <laughs> Bestiary. Best year. Or, no, that's not a word. <laughs> Bestiary. Best. Bestiary. Monster book. Oh, gosh. Bestiary. Monster book. <laughs> Bestie? Brian, do you have something you'd like to share with the class? I, His resolution? There's this guy in our in our work today that started. No. His last name is... 
It's just like his last name. His last name, story. Is, his last name is Shaput. Shaput. And I want to keep. I, I keep wanting <laughs> to go to tell him. I'm like, you Shaput. I'm gonna go. <laughs> do, we all, do we all get to stay? Do you want to hear this great joke I thought over over the Christmas no! break? No. Yes. How did the Godfather compel his guests to stay for breakfast? He gave him an offer. He could. He made him a waffle. He couldn't refuse. Oh, the stream is over. Good. That's not. That's, that's it's the worst joke I've ever heard. Why a waffle and not an, an omelet? An omelet would have because been it doesn't have any sibilance. <laughs> I got a Star Wars joke for you. What about oh, a no. no. Moving on. This is out of control. No, let's hear the Star Wars joke. No. Do you no. think BB's hungry? No. Yeah, because BB ate. Yeah, no, because BB ate. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't get it. Spoilers. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so any Based jokes, on that scene where he devours any, the main Any cat. jokes from you guys? I know Herbie does really well thinking of jokes under pressure. Herbie, do you have any New Year's jokes for us? <laughs> no. Not a one. <laughs> Ever. Nope. Well, I got, a new, uh, I got a joke for you. Okay, us. great. It's God. the last minute. Yeah. Oh, wait, uh, I was gonna, I, I was gonna remind you before we went live that you should get a, your music cue. Right? I was just about to, and then I got right. super excited about... Well, let's go ahead and do that, and we can start the NOS minute, and then we'll start... I don't know. Alright, quick, say what you were just about to say... Uh, wait. Wait, Spotify. Oh, there. Say, you've gotta say, I've got a joke for you. I've got a joke for you. What is it? So nation, ladies and gentlemen, just tell me for the NOS! 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 The NOS minute! Did you have any, like, vocal modulation on that? Let me just go to the fucking vocal modulation store! <laughs> well, wait, hey, we did have a donation, you know. What?! Yeah, we had yeah, a donation! We had a donation off! Why I tried to tell you, I was like, hey, donation! Like, everyone ignored me. I was literally <laughs> shouting the entire time. Yes. <laughs> I was just about to go get them! But there's a oh, donation! God. Too much is happening! This is why. Now it's the Undertale man. Right. Polo! I'll get the fucking cup. What, what happened to Polo? So I don't know. There was a lot of things happening. Wyvern Slayer donated $20 DD oh, stream oh, hype. Wow. Wyvern, you're entirely too generous for a bunch of people that are doing everything that they possibly can not to play Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is true. I don't know where the cups are. They're. Left, left cabinet above. Right cabinet. Right cabinet. Like that closet. There. In that corner. Closet. To the left, to the right. <laughs> there, that one. No. Straight. Oh, you the moved them. baby ones. Oh, you moved yeah. them. No, they've always been here. No, we're looking for not the not the full. Oh, plastic cups. cups. Yeah, the bathroom cups. Gotcha. <laughs> bathroom cups. No one wants to put this stuff in their pocket. Well, that's what the little cups are, right? For like rinsing your mouth out and stuff. Yeah, like no, the, yeah. Or for pouring yeah. nos in and then throwing it away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nasty. They're useful for any sort of uh, liquid you don't want to keep around for very long. <laughs> Polo? Hey, Polo's not a liquid, he's a solid. Polo? Alright, so uh, for this New Year's... Oh, I've had this. Have you? Don't spoil it. I, I'll tell time. you what, I, Starbucks. I, I probably won't like it because it has coffee in it, but yep. this is a Starbucks um, refreshers, revitalizing, revitalizing energy. Real fruit juice, B vitamins, and ginseng. Wait, it's it, raspberry it, it, pomegranate. Ginseng? Coffee? Ginseng. Fruit juice? Uh, oh god. Um, let's, not, let's not. So this let's is be a, friends. This is a uh, sparkling green coffee energy beverage. <laughs> you guys are screwed. So I, I, I wonder if the energy is. It's alright. I guess it's got ginseng. The and energy is the beans. reaction your body has to ingesting coffee mixed with fruit juice. <laughs> <laughs> Produces quite a bit of energy right about this area. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love coffee. I do. Well, yeah. Good thing coffee, I just had... coffee would be okay. Fruit juice would be okay. I'm a little confused about this combination. <laughs> you know, of... Well, it's a good thing I just had a cheesesteak sandwich wow. for dinner. So whoa. Jesus. You know um. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm supposed to. Take be a Brandon. chill pill, Braggy McBraggers. <laughs> whoa, there you go, Brandon. Oh, thank you. You know, I like the uh, smell of coffee. It's just the taste of it is too bitter. Oh, but that reminds me. This smells like cough syrup. I got these, uh, <laughs> these Wonder Berries. Have you guys heard of these? Yes. They yes. You, change your taste? Yeah, you, you, you suck on it, and then it, it, uh, <laughs> spurts in your mouth. God. Okay. Well. Well, you went there. Right. You, know, you suck on it, and then it turns things that are sour and bitter into things that are sweet. So, 
Um, you know, I got a bunch of those, like, lemons and limes and grapefruits and had a... Did you just, like, burn out your mouth on fruit Yeah, juice? pretty yeah. much. <laughs> that stuff will it, tear It does. It tears up your mouth, but it was Your cool. Teeth, like, disintegrated. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so who's got the, uh... Oh, this smells good. It, it it's like it's actually, like a juice. But... It's like a fruit juice. Yeah, yeah. Have a toast. It doesn't have any I don't know where I went with this. Why don't... Since it's the new year, yeah. and Brendan's our host, if he would like to, to start it over, yeah. Um, or if that's going to put you on the spot, then that's unfair. No, that's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. Thank you. Um, I am going to toast uh, not merely my wonderful players, aw, um, but uh, the wonderful <laughs> people that tune in week after week to watch us, because... Like I said, uh, this will be one year of us doing it. At the end of this month, we're going to do something special. I'm not positive what. Maybe we'll have a pizza party. I don't know. But we're going to do something special because we've all had a wonderful time doing it. So, here's to you. Thanks. Cheers. 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 Ugh. <clears throat> hey, I like it. That's incredible. It doesn't have much wow. taste to it. <laughs> How can you no, guess? It, like, it has every flavor. It's it doesn't like taste like coffee taste. at all. It tastes no, like no. a cheesesteak. I'm just cheese tasting mostly sparkling water with a little bit of berries. Yeah, it, it, it. Yeah. Yeah. This is sparkling water with berries. It's green coffee extract. Wait, are you supposed green to shake coffee. it? Green coffee extract. Green yeah. coffee extract. No, wait, you can't What's shake green, green coffee? coffee? Isn't that the coffee that the monkeys poop out? Might be. Does <laughs> someone just take Terry out of it? What? Hey, does uh, anyone remember what we did before we broke for winter? Winter? No before we broke for winter. I remember two or three events that we did. I Four. remember some people cocking her out in a tower for about four hours. Oh my god. <laughs> I killed oh, that's pigs. right! We, I thought you guys were going to die. I was really hoping. <laughs> so to start the session, there was a fire. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there some, was a fire. Some furniture kind of moved some people out and moved themselves <laughs> out. Xamatrix destroyed a bunch of pigs for some <laughs> reason. Yeah. I kind of killed some pigs. For literally no oh, reason. <laughs> Yeah. To be fair, I was trying to save their lives. Well, you did a bad job. <laughs> if this was Shadowrun or Vampire the Masquerade, it would be like, I'll save you, and you pulling out a gun and putting it to their brain. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> you I saved you from burning to death by freezing you to bill. death. It was right. amazing. So I failed to oh. save some pigs. That was the highlight. The end. And then, uh, uh, so then you went, we went to the to... tower and demons came out. And no, 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 not ahead. that. You're jumping ahead. First we went to the... Uh, well, that's the gist of it. One Move of the two on. towers... That is kind of what I wanted someone to yeah, say. Yeah, we, we are supposed to keep these... Alright, alright, alright. All right. We, we got that one guy to a safe place, then we went to investigate the serpent's tower. We couldn't figure out what was up with it. It's got like a bunch of shadows inside of it. The demons came out and we went in. Yeah. Okay. Well, pretty much. We're they're there. Yeah. Shadow tower. Yep. Killer. Serpent shadow tower. Alright. Nighttime hit. All the darkness left. Yep. Right. So now it's daytime again. What? Inside the tower. Wait. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. There we go. <clears throat> so, sitting in front of you, you've just opened the previously warded doors leading into the Serpent Tower. It's just a little bit past midnight. No, that's not true. It's just past sunset. Uh, it is dark out. You haven't seen anyone going in or out of the base of the tower, but you just saw the shadowy monsters that seem to have been plaguing the city of Nibonese streets for the past few weeks, rushing out of the mouth at the very top of the tower. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Ripping up a little green coffee. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. And you've just opened the door, and you see inside. Um, as a matter of fact, there's a little something here that isn't quite on the map. So you see a spiral staircase leading up, starting on the left. Um, your left? On your left as you come inside. So there's a pair oh, of doors yeah. there. Um, you see there's a little red mark there? That's sort of where you've come in. Okay. Uh, and then the stairs lead up, up, up. The sort of where the broken stairs are there, that indicates that that's where it goes up to another level of the map. Uh, And then the thing that's there that isn't marked there on the map is there's actually a grate sort of set in the middle of the uh, uh, floor, almost like a drainage uh, ditch or something like that. However, the metal bars, iron bars, as a matter of fact, seem to have been broken outwards. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So something broke through the grate. At some point. Yeah. Does it seem like it's more of a prison than a drainage thing? Uh, give me an investigation check. Oh, I need dice. 17. I need dice. 17. It definitely looks like it's a container of some kind. However, noteworthy, it doesn't look like there 
is a obvious way to open or close the hatch. It looks like more just a set of prison bars set in there. It's a very, very big uh, uh, pit. It's about 20 feet to a side, and it's maybe about 30 or 40 feet down. And what's the size of the actual grate? 20 by 20. Okay, so it covers it the whole pack. <coughs> All right. So it's yeah, possible it, this tower was built around whatever they're keeping inside. Or, or that the shadow creatures busted in here, and that's how they took over this tower. Are the fragments of the busted out grate like all around on the floor, or does it look like those were gone? Uh, you don't see a whole lot in the way of fragments. It looks more like there was some sort of a burst, and uh, they seem to have just twisted. Okay, they've been twisted. Out. They didn't like explode out or anything. Um, it didn't shatter. Okay. It, did, it definitely seems to have like exploded <laughs> out, and it's mal shaped. It's not just busted uh, up right. at an angle. Like from force or something. Oh, right. Before I forget, Antoria will quickly uh, send uh, Tanger to his alternate dimension, <laughs> so that he is not hit by a trap. And Goodbye, Tanger. <laughs> um, he did good work last session. Did well, it was a space. coffee break. You guys were in there. Does it seem like it's safe to enter? Well, it was. <laughs> More dark than this. It was like, oh, you couldn't see anything inside, so... Okay. <coughs> I suspect that it's... was the shadows themselves that were observing the light. Actually, I wonder I didn't fall into it while stumbling around here. That's mm. actually also a good point. rule. <laughs> 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 you fall... Any, anything's possible. Yeah. <laughs> Give it time. Yeah. Well, There's still time. Shall we head inside? Yeah. That's what we're here for. Well, I'm already, well, I'm already inside. Yeah. I'm not going to open the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> What are we here for again, though, specifically? We're here because Fine. that Dre Roxix. Roxix. The oh, coolest right. guy in the world. Yeah, the coolest guy what? in the world. To destroy everything here. Oh. At this point, even even regardless of our previous information, the fact that this is where the shadows seem to live and come from makes it worth investigating. But his belief is that it's uh, related to how Sham somehow... Yes, he's well, seen House yeah. Sham operatives near or right. around the tower. Well, we also just found the home of the shadow creatures, so this probably has something to do with what we're looking for, too. Just keep an eye out for Osir while we're here. <coughs> Agreed. Okay. Toria will walk up slowly towards the pit with his torch out so we can look down into it. Okay, let's just really quick. There's no reason I will, not I'll to. I'll give you $10 and the tentacle comes out and grabs the light right now. It'll just bounce off the shield. <laughs> I, think, I think I've said pretty clearly that donations will not affect gameplay. But this isn't a donation, it's a bribe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bribe nation. All right. Bribe. Watch out. Let's have a look in the pit and see what we can see. Sure. Give me a perception. Oh, that's how big the pit is? Yep. Yeah, it's yeah. Huge. Oh, I thought. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, that is a 20 total. There's some sort of a black slime on the side. It's not like completely coating it, but definitely sort of seeping uh, around uh, the bricks that make up the pit. There might be some stuff in the very bottom, but you can't quite see it in all this darkness. All right, and uh, Toriel will look at the, will point at the slime on the pit and say, huh, I don't know what that is. It is. Corrosive? Mm. There's one way to find <clears throat> out. Put it in your body. <laughs> you have, uh, <laughs> yeah, shoot some fire at it. I've got an idea. Mentoria takes out a copper bit and uses Mage Hand to scrape some of the slime off the wall. And Money! Then... <laughs> <laughs> and scrape some of it out, and then continuing to use Mage Hand brings it closer so we can have a look and see if it's doing anything funny to the copper bit. Or anything sure. Like that. Uh, it doesn't appear to be corroding it or anything like that. However, it is like, it's very viscous. It's spreading across the surface of the thing. As if it had a mind of its own. It's not amoeba like necessarily, nor is it like slime like. It's just very, very, very sticky. Uh, Arcana check to see if I'm familiar with this particular oddity. Sure. It's a black pudding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. Thankfully, so is Antoria. Uh, 24. 24. Um, this doesn't necessarily seem to be like. A substance all on its own. It looks more like a residue of some kind. Uh, it seems to be... Actually, give me an Arcana check. Okay. Uh, 16. Um, believe it or not, this may be like the leftovers of maybe like transmutation or something like that. Maybe with a necrotic or a necromantic edge to it. Mm -hmm. Some sort of residue. Transmutation. 
necromancy, something like that. Well, like someone turning into a lich. <laughs> I don't know about <laughs> this. Is the factory, this is the factory where they make liches. I don't know if it's related to that specific process, but I suppose it's possible. He is the expert in He pitches it, using Mage Hand, he drops the copper bit back. He's not reclaiming the All copper right. bit at sure. this point. We've we certainly like seen the... Uh, no, I Oop. really don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> We've certainly seen plenty of transformations from the, uh, the heralds. Hmm. Wouldn't be surprising if some of their allies know what to do. <clears throat> Agreed. I couldn't quite make out the bottom of the pit. Anyone... Better eyesight? Yeah, I've never I have dark vision. <clears throat> I can't see that far. I should be able to see if it's not magically dark. Magic dark. Um, it is not magically dark, however, there's big puddles of this stuff, and mm -hmm. the, the stuff is opaque. You can see that maybe there's like some small rocks or something like that, and maybe there's some other stuff down there, but it's too far oh, away. So it's, into... it's like coating the entire bottom as well? It's not coating the entire bottom, but... Imagine there's like a, glob, a giant glob here and a giant glob here and a giant glob here, so eventually you can't see further down, I guess. Yeah, it's not like it's filling up with a thing. It's not necessarily like deep with it, but there's enough to obfuscate uh, whatever might be down there. Marcus has is, is pulling out his great axe, okay. like pointing it towards the opening and like trying. Looks like he's focusing really hard. Okay. To see if maybe for some reason fire spews out of it. I'm gonna. Just... <clears throat> it's like. Tori got a 14 on an inside check. Is that enough to figure out what he's trying to do? <laughs> I mean, with Marcus, it's not possible. <laughs> he's he's like, are you... I don't think it works. Not like, how it works. Did, you, did you take the safety off? Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think you'll need to hit something with it to get the fire to come out. Which I wouldn't recommend it with that being all the way down there. I think that if we need fire down there, we're going to have... There are other ways, yes. Does anyone have any extra torches? We could just drop one down there and see what happens. See what we see. I certainly but have a few think, others, but if it's flammable, that could create a lot of smoke that we wouldn't want to be anywhere near, and we still have an entire tower to look up. Perhaps we should move along. Agreed. Marcus spends an extra five seconds doing this. And <laughs> puts his weapon away. Sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. She brought sneakers at you. No, he doesn't. He's silent. Mm -hmm. Or home. He's grumbly. He's yeah. mad. I uh, guess checking for traps, start heading upstairs. Okay. There's nothing else here. Sure. Where are you checking for traps? Uh, Just the, on the stairs, generally? The base of the stairwell, the stairs themselves, especially on the lookout for these <laughs> slidey stairs that seem to be everywhere in Athens. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> They've been, like, been like two places. So, to be fair, this one's probably not going to slide you down. It'll drop sideways, so you drop into the pit. Well, that would be bad, too. <laughs> but yes, uh, looking for traps of investigation. To be fair, you've been on these uh, stairs before. Yeah. Well, As a gaseous form. Oh, yeah. no, that's true. I wasn't right. a gaseous form for some yeah. of that. Okay, fair enough. But still checking just in case. Oh, sure. Uh, 18. 18. You don't find any traps. All right. Well, <clears throat> let's start heading up then. Right. I'll follow just behind him as like, shield bearer. Yeah, give me your marching order. All right, marching order is being established. So these two in front, who's third? I'll go third. Marcus. Marcus! 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 Marcus is third. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, fourth, he just he just away. Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> fourth and fifth. I'll go last. This transformation yeah. into a Pokemon is complete. <laughs> How many hit points do you have? Sixty-eight. I get bonuses for being dragony. <clears throat> yep. Drop, drop, drop. The clump. What <clears throat> floors is this tower? If you were looking up. If you were looking at it from the outside. Uh, well, no, from the inside. From the inside. I'm assuming it's a spot, like an open center. Is that what we're getting? It is up to uh, the next floor, at okay. which point there's a stone uh, ceiling, as a matter of fact. Okay. Um, Ryan, if you take that red mark uh -huh. and line it up with the red mark Ooh, on the previous one. Uh -huh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Fancy. Upgrade. <clears throat> It's like a simple like IKEA. Part. I hope we stack it in the camera all the way. Yeah. <laughs> That's not lined up. Oh, is it? Be better. It's like. Okay, here we go. There you go. And this is, is this coming from below? Yep, that's the red dot is going to be your entry point for each floor of the tower. Okay. Um, wait. Do I other have, way around. Oh, oh, other way around. <laughs> Put yourself higher up on the That's stairs. That's fine. So you land, uh, okay. or not land, but you <laughs> arrive at your, <laughs> arrive at a landing yep. um, with a large ornate uh, door uh, closed in front of you. In front of the door, there is a collapsed corpse on the ground. 
Hmm. Don't remember detecting that before. How does this? Is this like a really old corpse? How does it appear to have died? Uh, as a matter of fact, it looks relatively fresh. It looks like maybe it was stabbed in the belly. Ah. Uh, it's a man. It's a human. It looks like he's wearing Templar robes. Um, and he's got a satchel on the ground sitting next to him. Hmm. Templar. Doesn't you look should like he have was... been <clears throat> capable of dealing with whatever would probably have stabbed him in the stomach. I would well, think. <laughs> certainly wasn't a shadow. <laughs> you guys are sure you didn't... You know. Oh, in the dark, no. I mean, whoopsie! I, I was using my knife to point her out. Oh, but, like, oh, but tink, 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 go, 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 tink, tink. I imagine this is like an intro for a really bad infomercial. Yeah. Like, you ever tried to find a dark? There's got oh. to be a better way. Uh, of course, the, the experience of the torch could have been that. Yeah. <laughs> I almost burned myself. Almost. So the only yeah, ground damage. Uh, only ground visible is that corner there. Correct. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Landing there. So it, yeah, I guess we'll there. investigate this corpse. Um, let's have, I'll look at it before we touch it. Right? Sure. And I'll use Mage Hand to empty out the satchel into the ground. Okay. Uh, Twenty-three. Twenty-three. And what are you investigating in particular? I was just checking him out, make sure that there's nothing odd going on here. So uh, it looks as though he was stabbed in the belly. Um, he looks relatively fresh. Um, he looks kind of withered in a way. Um, you know how like a golem was kind of like stretched, where like he was like spoilers. He looks a little drained. <laughs> yeah, where he was not necessarily like elderly or necessarily, but he seems like old beyond his years. Um, maybe thirty, thirty-five, or something like that, but with like the pallor of a sixty-year-old or something like that. Not like one of those fit 60 year olds, which no. do exist. <laughs> he drank the reverse potion of what Antoria had. Something like that, yeah. Patrick yeah. Stewart. Pat, yeah, he's pretty fit. But Marcus he's not going to kind of like <clears throat> kick him so he slumps over and just make sure that he's fully dead. He Can does do not like react. Knowledge Arcana for like what kind of effect that would be sure. to drain someone's life. 17? 17. Um, you know that there is magic that. Uh, uh, can extend uh, or alter age. Mm -hmm. um, you're not immediately familiar with what. <laughs> <this might be. laughs> Clearly, he made himself so old he died. Antoria familiar with such magic? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying we're in Antoria's house. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the check marks are adding up. Was there anything in the satchel that he dumped out? Yes, as a matter of fact, there are a pair of uh, rolled up scrolls and a scrap of parchment. Where he looks oh, kind no. of a narrow eye at the scrolls. You see, you, you, you probably noticed Antoria is always oddly suspicious of scrolls for a, for a witch. <laughs> Most witches are pretty happy to find them. He's is that how he got into the Remember that? Yeah. Sammy's, like, oh, <laughs> Sammy's like, oh, scrolls! Uh, uh, and she wait, goes wait, oh, uh, to pick stop. them. <laughs> scrolls can be unexpectedly dangerous. More than you might think. Oh yeah, you read them and dangerous things happen to your enemies. Mm, no, sometimes you open <laughs> them up and you start becoming a witch. It does happen. I've never heard of that. So you said two scrolls and a piece of parchment. Yes. All right. Uh, the parchment looks almost like a torn page. Uh, looks like there's some of those survival horror journals. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's also an ink. I can hear them beating oh, on the door. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming. I can't hold out much longer. This one. <laughs> there was a scroll here. It's gone now. I'll take a look at the two scrolls, and while I'm doing that, someone else can look at the parchment, I suppose. It's probably not magical by the look of it. I'll take a look at the parchment. Sure. Uh, um, oh. What languages do you read? Uh, I know human and half Okay. Uh, the page is, like, line for line, just crammed with strange figures that you're not familiar with. Um, like the whole way down. However, there's also some um, human uh, common tongue sort of scrawled in the corner. And there appears to be not like made up words necessarily, but like almost like generic kind of magic words, the kind of stuff that you'd expect Antoria to babble off if focus, he was focus. saying a spell. Um, and then beneath that it says, one of these must open the vault. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll just like look at it for a second and then. Adding draconic to the list, uh, I don't know halfling, but Antoria uh, does know draconic. Is that okay. the language? It is not. In that case, I'll start casting comprehend languages, which is a 10 minute ritual. Okay. Uh, I can read it if you Hacks. give me a little bit. I'll have to magic it down. out. Marcus would like to look at this. Sword dagger that's embedded in the guy? Oh, there's not a sword or dagger. Oh, he's just been stabbed. Yeah. Okay. 
It's so it's not flowing with blood, but it looks relatively fresh. Okay, like maybe with it is science lessons. Not entirely, but neither no, is. I'm like that's a non-answer. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so Correct. I mean, yeah, it could go either way. <laughs> yeah. It's not congealed. It, it, yeah, yeah. No, it's scabbed over completely. He's fine, actually. He gets up and leaves. <clears throat> hey, give me my stuff back. Um, I'm not a CSI guy, but it looks like maybe he was killed maybe a couple of hours ago. Oh! oh people love it when people are killed a couple hours ago. <laughs> it's my favorite. Activate donates $20. Hey, oh, thank hey you. activate. Thank wow. you. Amazing. Thank Man, you. I'll stab more guys in the game. Zammy, <laughs> okay. get over here. <laughs> So great. Comprehend languages. Comprehend languages. Yes. Um, as a matter of fact, after casting comprehend languages, you look at the page and the characters don't look any more familiar. As a matter of fact. How strange. That should have worked. What if it's not actually a language? It must be some sort of cipher. That's the only case where that particular spell would have normally failed. Or a password, considering what uh, was scrawled in the corner. You said you could read some of it, right? <clears throat> There, yeah, there's, yeah, there's some, some of it's in common. Yeah, you can read that. Yeah. Why is some of it in common and the rest of it not? <clears throat> Possibly because this person is insane. Look, looking at the, it's... Looking at the, um, the parchment, mm -hmm. do, do the non-common things look consistent, like they were all the same language? Yes, so it's almost as if someone, like, ripped a page out of a dictionary or an encyclopedia and then made some cliffs notes in the oh, corner oh, or something okay. like that. Hmm. I'm gonna inspect the door perception, okay. see if there's anything odd about it. Sure. Oh, pretty good. Uh, oh, that was deception. All right, nineteen. <laughs> you I was with that plus you lie your ass off to the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a powerful sorcerer. <laughs> um, uh, the door is uh, extremely ornate and it's got some very impressive knockers uh, set inside. Oh, hey, hey! I tweak them. Tweak the knockers. They. <laughs> Explode. <laughs> Great. Yeah. So that's it. Just some. Oh okay, yeah, just some knockers. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be right. uh, locked or uh, necessarily uh, uh, trapped in any way. Okay. Well then, I will switch to detect magic and see if I can figure out anything about the scrolls or the parchment with that. Okay. That'll take, that'll take a few minutes too. Sure. Does this Templar have anything? Like, does he? Is he armed? Has he been? Has his weapons been taken or anything? Uh, it doesn't look like he has any weapons on him. No. Actually, what? Yes. What's his amulet? It's all the he just has the Templar clothes, I think. Oh, okay. He's As like, a matter of fact, you did not find the amulet. Yeah. What clothes? Yeah, is I'll be like, actually, hold on. This is Nibane Templars are women. That's true. So who's this fellow? And who is he impersonating? In a city where everyone knows that. Are they Nimini's uh, Templar clothing? They are. Huh. This is That's odd. Something uh, very strange is happening here. You're right, that would be useless as a disguise. Worse than useless. Yes. would call all Even sorts of attention to you. Ridiculous thing you could do. Antoria, the parchment page is radiating magic, and the, one of the scrolls is radiating magic. Only one of them? Mm -hmm. Hmm. My scrolls, do I mean, do these look like magic scrolls, or are we just saying rolled up piece of paper? They're rolled up pieces ah, of paper. Yeah, However, like in Athos, <laughs> most of the rolled up pieces of paper you find are magical scrolls. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Mind, reading and writing is super illegal most places. And most places yeah. where you do find it's allowed, unless you're in like a noble estate or something like that, you might find some poetry on a parchment or a papyrus or something like that. But most like uh, record keepers and stuff like that will actually like carve it into a piece of clay or something like that. Okay, and scroll, but magic spell scrolls usually would radiate magic. Yes. It's definitely unusual when one doesn't. Yes. Yeah, and Toriel will quarantine that one in its own pouch and not open it. Okay. <laughs> what, what would be wrong with that one? If it's not magical, then it should be fine. Unless Perhaps. it's been enchanted to disguise the fact that it's... Perhaps we can open it with uh, <laughs> And Toria extends it towards you. <laughs> By all means. I will open it up. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> you're a lich. Pain, you're a lich. Right. You, yeah. you open it up? <laughs> yeah, I open it up. It is blank. I'll flip it around. Alright. And Toria looks away as soon as he starts to flip it around. 
And look on the other side. It is blank on the other side, which was the rolled up money outside side. Well, Antoria, I'll hang it in front of him. <laughs> I'm scared of a blank piece of paper. Antoria! <laughs> Antoria's trying to reach for it without Actually, looking at it. I have a blank at piece it. of paper sitting around right here front. somewhere. Good. Oh, yeah, there. That's blank. All right. Yeah. It looks like the piece of paper. Oh, no! <laughs> 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 Happy New Year! (laughs) Great, we have to do that class promotion quest again. (laughs) It's like running back to the bell tower to get your sins absolved. (laughs) Tis only human to become a lich. (laughs) (laughs) Well, if it's blank, that's exciting. He's... Trying to re- are you helping him reach for it? Wyvern Slayer donated another not- five dollars. <laughs> oh, no. Starting two thousand six out with ornate knockers, Wyvern lewd. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll... Boys, bust him out. All right. <laughs> thank th- thank you, Wyvern. Victoria looks at the other one and said, "It'll be ironic if this is the one that's trapped." But very carefully opening the other one. Okay. How is like are you using like a tweezers? <laughs> I'm opening it facing away from me. Okay, so that facing one. Marvin. <laughs> no, face facing no one. <clears throat> Just the door. Nothing. Uh, you unravel it, and uh, nothing seems to happen. All right. I will hold it so that I can only see the first word or two and look at it that way. You okay. Know, I want to see what Antoria looks like when he opens up like a brown bag lunch that his mom gave. <laughs> <laughs> Me Chan, that's what his mom is. Is oh. this baloney? <laughs> I use Mage Hand to He lifts it like you know, 15 feet away. Aw, oh, no mustard. <laughs> he uses Mage Hand to get some tweezers. You know, I could, I could, uh, Tori could forgive Cade and, uh, and uh, Zambi for making yeah. fun of him, but you two saw the epic battle with the Lich's spell book that he had to do where he had counter spelled it and deflected. They forgot. Kate hasn't made they forgot by all. now. Kate, <laughs> True, Kate hasn't. Kate made doesn't it. think that it's weird at all to be scared of your magic bullshit. They forgot by now. <laughs> It is super dangerous in the world. Xander loves books and reading. Uh, it looks so far like a magical scroll of some kind. All right, he'll start reading it. We're not reading it to read it, but he'll try to understand what spell it is, basically. Okay, can you just do that? If it's a wizard one, yes. If it's not a wizard one, it will be an arcana check. Uh, gotta look stuff up. A, actually, Xander's gonna. Is a literal wizard. As in. <laughs> It is not a wizard spell. Okay. Sam's gonna start sketching the door too. She's gonna sketch the knockers. Uh, I probably did not get it on an eleven. You did not. Okay. Hmm. It's a spell, but I don't recognize it. it must not be something <coughs> arcane. It's not being good. <laughs> you didn't say that. Most of the arcane ones are actually been terrible. But... So it's too powerful for you. <laughs> no, it's just a different type, like maybe druid magic or something. We have. <laughs> oh, we did. What if for the this. what if for the f- a one year anniversary show we just have like a like greatest hits <laughs> where yeah. just every NPC that we've had just well, trots on. We can do bosses just on like, parade. Yeah. Hey guys, remember that one? Time yeah. And we cut. To we need to do video. that video. <laughs> oh no! Um, a clip, clip show? Yeah. Oh man! What are our writers on strike or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, All right. Well, it cuts to like clips of us talking with different dialogue coming out. <laughs> <laughs> While well, detect magic is up, is the door radiating magic? It is not. Okay, so just the parchment. Yes. Huh. This is <clears throat> magic too. So what was what were the words on the parchment again? The common ones. Uh, so there's a bunch of uh, words that. Now that you're looking at it, you can sort of tell that they're sort of looking like they're trying to replicate verbal components. But they're not to any particular spell that you're familiar with. And then beneath that, it says, one of these must open the vault. Hmm. It's literally like, Alakazam! Open says me! This is nonsense. Which is brew. <laughs> I mean, there are words of <laughs> magic, nice. but... We don't even know if this vault has anything to do with this tower. There's maybe a treasure hunter of some kind. True. I think well, we should proceed, and if we run into a door that we can't open, we can go back to this. For what it's worth, the door is not magical, though. I do wonder what stabbed this fellow. Well, Perhaps it's whatever door. broke out of that grave. Mm. By the way, did, was he armed? I'm sorry? Was the, 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 he was he has two arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. Was he defeated? <laughs> Someone made him a waffle. He couldn't refuse. I'm oh. <laughs> 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 uh, history's greatest monster. <laughs> Goodbye. 
He doesn't have a weapon on him. All he has is the gender swap, Templar robes, and the satchel that had the scary paper inside okay. of it. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Uh, I'll check the tra- the, the door for traps. The traps for doors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that will, investigation, that'll be a 23. You do not find any traps. Looks clean. Let's go. All right. You know what to do. I do. Uh-oh, there's no red marking on this one. Damn oh, it. no! Yes, there is. It's there is. On the doors. Where? Fuck. Fuck! No. On the doors. No, it's on the side. We're oh, lost in time is. and space. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Oh, I didn't realize there were markings on the side. Yeah, there's yeah. A it's added. Yeah. 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 I see. Okay. Hey. Hello. This opens up into a very large library. Ooh. There are some there massive shelves of books. <laughs> Martin destroys all the books. <laughs> yeah. Fuck books. <laughs> <laughs> My greatest adversary. There's also uh, uh, shelves along the walls where they're stacked up. There's tons just stacked along the sides. Uh, and there is a wraith-like creature oh. reading a large tome sitting at the table in front of you. Oh. <laughs> An Martin. eerie glow uh, radiates from beneath its foul hood. Marcus waves. Sammy will walk up to it. <sighs> Pardon, are these books free to peruse? Shh. Please be quiet in the library. Okay. As you wish. You may read. Thank you. Sammy's eyes go big and round and she's like, she runs right to the nearest bookcase. Where it kind of looks at Kate and the other is like, let's follow the rules for now. That's wise. Is there, oh, there's no floor up. Is there? Uh, the stairs. Right. So if you explore the room, there's another set of stairs leading up oh, okay. on the other side. Got it. Toriel will very quietly <coughs> look around the library to see if there's any uh, interesting. <clears throat> oh, there's a Templar reading some books over there. <laughs> well, that is interesting. Yes. A male Templar? It is not a male Templar. Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thank you. Knocker's confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, she has like a I'll, uh, mil- I'll follow mil- Antaria mil- and mil- get away from her. What are we looking for? That's a good question. Mm-hmm. There are books. There might be something interesting. Okay. Antoria and Zami give me intelligence checks. Okay. Uh, I got a 21. I got a 19. You have stumbled across a trove of books protected by a mysterious wraith kind of thing. A little urge tingles at the back of your brain. <laughs> Mar- Mars is safe because he can't fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> was, that, was, that, oh, was that an int check or an int saving throw? That was an int check. Okay. <clears throat> I knew it. Do you remember the gears we undertook? I do. And Toria looks at, kind of helplessly at the books. <sighs> I told you that was a bad idea. I never What's said it on? wasn't. I was the only one. What's going on? Explain to him while I do what I must. Shh. Zami's already looking at the books now. Explain to him why I do what I must. Victoria will begin quietly looking through the books. Okay. Now focused on looking for anything about the dragon mask. Oh, alright, yeah. alright. They swore Gius to the Veiled Alliance that they would investigate some things for them that if they don't die. That's <laughs> <laughs> stupid of them. That's what I said. <laughs> Marcus, Mar- yes. Marcus will pretend to read books. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna try to like, like upside down. <laughs> while, while we're like talking, oh, yeah. Yeah. sandwich with words. Yeah. <laughs> while we're while we're like chatting about this, I'm gonna try to like keep Marvin a little ways away from where Antoria's like <clears throat> unfolding a centerfold of the mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, masks of ancient yeah. history. Wonderful. wonderful. Yeah. If you ever lose the mask, simply speak the command words yeah. and it <laughs> fly back to your possession. It's really easy. <laughs> Zami's gonna look for a few specific things, which is Gustinol, uh, Dragoth, the mask. I don't know if the mask had a name or not. If we heard one, I don't think we got a name for it. 
Um, There's an episode named after it. <laughs> and she's actually gonna look for a little extra thing, which is stuff under a drag stone. Do you wanna like look at the weapons to see if there's blood on them? Okay, what are you looking at first? Uh, I mean, well, I just went to the nearest bookcase. Okay. And I'm just saying, what if any of that stuff that I'm looking at try. looks like it would match anything, like maybe history books or anything that would match any of those things I mentioned. Like if I can look at like titles of books and what they, like, I don't know if they have binding or. I don't know. Some of them do, yeah. <clears throat> Um, okay, not give me a perception check. At least not. Or no, give me an investigation check. Okay. I don't know what heresy they get up to in the other day. <clears throat> Where is investigation? There it is. Antoria? Ten! Oh, you check for him too? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, natural 20. Natural yeah. 20? Yeah. You know, it's we're in a library. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's first radio. You find oh, it on the internet. <laughs> Dragon! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's on microfilm. Cool, I love using that machine. Spectacular. Um, as a matter of fact, on the opposite side of the bookshelf where the Templar seems to be uh, browsing the shelves, uh, you find an, a record of the ancient war between Rom and Gustinal. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, supposedly, uh, flipping through the pages, you discover um, that the mask was one of several pieces of uh, gear belonging to the Dread King Dragoth that were seized by Rom, but lost shortly afterwards, after the, uh... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> off a cliff. Now we're gonna it off. But oh, were lost or otherwise, um... Uh, stolen away after the war was actually complete. One was buried with one of the generals of Rom. Uh, one was stolen back by, uh, survivors from the sack of, uh, Dragoth. And another was lost in the Silt Sea on the joint journey back. Okay. Is there anything else about the mask in this particular book? Only that uh, captives that were brought back claimed that when the three pieces were joined once uh, uh, together once again, the Dread King would reign once more. Cool. And what are the other two pieces like? Does it say what type of... I it guess. does. Okay. Yes, it does. Cool. One is a spear said to have been used by the Dread King Dragoth himself. Okay. And the other is an amulet. Okay, and does it say which was in the Salt Sea and which was stolen back? It says that they stole back the spear. Okay, so the amulet is at the bottom of the Salt Sea, presumably, if the information's well, If accurate. you believe this book, yeah. sure. Very important question is, how much of this and what exactly are you sharing with Sammy? Uh, Toriel's looked at the book thoroughly at this point, right? So he's <coughs> finished with it? I'd say so, yeah. Okay, and Toriel will actually hand the book to Sammy. Okay. Is the Templar, like, reasonably aware of our presence? Absolutely. Kind of, yeah, we like, haven't doing his own thing. Actually, she's trying to catch sure. Antoria's eye, like, through the bookshelf at this point. Oh. Interesting. Has Zami heard of any of these things before? Uh, my Books? The... No, never. No. <laughs> these artifacts. Uh, give me a... Because uh, they seem very important to... As a matter of fact, I'm just going to say flat out, no, you've never heard of these. Okay. Okay, well, um, so far as you're aware, not, like you're reading this and it looks like fan fiction to you. Oh, yeah. Like you've <laughs> never heard of anything to do with this at all. All right. So Marvin and Kate, while they were talking, they're sort of moving. They were they were moving to, to get an eye on this Templar, but if there's an exchange happening, <clears throat> like Kate's gonna just hang back at him. Toria sure. will notice her and kind of in, in nods and kind of gives a <clears throat> wave of his hand. He's remaining quiet for the moment, though. Sure. It's clear she clearly has her at. She has his attention. Okay. Marcus would like to, in, in between pretending to read, and slash look for pictures, um, mm -hmm. just kind of keep looking up at the Templar end. Sure. She seems her. aware of, but unperturbed by your presence. And addresses you. Do you know what this place is? Not exactly. I know the shadows came from here. Mm. And come back to here, I presume, at some point. Shadows. Children of the great king, my mighty husband, Nibane. They're his children? He had a wonderful, wonderful wife a hundred years ago. But she didn't appreciate the privilege that had been given to her. She decided, no, she would be in charge. And to that end, crafted terrific spells using the power of this great place to give her what none of the rest of us ever could. Son. Son. Who is Nibine this? Nibine didn't want a son. So he took his bride and transformed her into the shadow queen she so desired to be. 
and locked her away. In the pit below? Yes. But she is no longer there. No, she's not. And this is the source of the shadows around town? Yes, indeed. Where does the Shadow Queen now? Did she leave with the others? Well, we were able to free her, but she seems reluctant to leave what's been her home for quite so long. But her children, who've known nothing but captivity their whole miserable lives, are all too eager to go out to feed. You say we freed her. You freed her, then? Oh, of course. I see. For what purpose? There's not a, and there's no anger in his tone, notably. He's oh, sure. Being con conversational about this for the moment. Why? Why else? To rule. You are not satisfied with your husband's rule, then. Being one of literally five thousand wives doesn't afford you much courage. I can understand that. But the scion of a great house. Wed to the son of the Sorcerer King's son himself. Son, I said son twice in that sentence. <laughs> That's all right. The keeping quiet thing is a little unnerving, especially the, <laughs> the dark sun son. son. <laughs> so then you are the daughter of Sham. Elara, at your service. And Toria, nice to meet you. Hello. Is it loud enough that we can clearly hear? I assume you've just all been like. <laughs> well, we're, all, we're all on this side of the bookcase, like this. <laughs> Let's see. I, sh I share this with you for a reason. I was wondering. I don't know why you're here, but clearly you've taken up with Diger. You've acted against the Shadow Children and. For whatever reason. Perhaps they threaten your life. If they did, we apologize. It does seem to happen rather often to anyone on the streets at night. That's the intent. the intent. But be that as it may, we would appreciate it if you went away. Hmm. Well, as it happens, we have a reason for being here, but it is not technically related to your shadows. Are you familiar with the great pillar underneath the palace of Nibene? Yes. You are familiar with it, then you know that it is a pillar of great power and importance. All too well. It needs to be secured against a threat that is invading all of those all of pillars such as that one. The bar held the secret. He's waiting for a reaction to that one before continuing. I guess an insight Jeez. check, too. Sure, give me an insight check. Uh, a 17. She seems genuinely conflicted at this. <clears throat> Do you know the true purpose of those pillars? I have an inkling. They exist to provide energy to a creature known as the Dust Kraken. There is a group called the Far Heralds attempting to disrupt that feeding and awaken it. And I know. You know. Then are you one of them? I'm not. Are you working with them? Yes. Unfortunate. A Shadowbinder traveled here from Yurik with that gladiator, offering us the chance to seize the city. Step forward. <laughs> through, through the bookcase. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah. <laughs> No, they moved here. They'll, like, take a step forward, but, like, not do anything yet. Just sort of like a reflexive, like... A shadow binder. Yes. He masquerades as a man of pleasure, but he has great power over the darkness. He's the one that told us that the ancient queen was real, helped us free her. This is, unfortunately, what they do in every land. They find those who are unhappy with the status quo in their given situation and aid them in exchange for access to the pillar. I have no particular desire to contest who rules Nibene. If you probably you probably have half a guess as to what I am by now. A sorcerer king is no friend of mine either. Shadow Queen could hardly be worse. But we need access to that pillar. You don't want the Far Hells to have it. Whatever rule you attempt to establish here will be gone in years at most if they get what they want. But 
Once we are in control with the wealth of House Sham and the power of the city, and the son of the Sorcerer King himself, surely we can turn the tables on these cats. Here and wherever that. else. If they actually succeed in summoning this Dust Kraken, it is a power far greater than, well, one that we've seen personally rival the power of the dragon itself. I would also add that we are familiar with their activities in other cities. Uh, there was a cult they attempted to help rise to power in Tyr, for example. They were quite helpful to them until the moment when they betrayed them by abandoning them to their fate, to their enemies. Hmm. They may have such a fate in store for you already. You may simply be unaware. I, I, I don't know. I must, I must think in this. My, my father will not capitulate easily. He's the one who's dreamed of being a sorcerer king himself, desperate to turn this to our advantage. And Toria kind of quirks his muscle a little bit. Uh, Arcana check just to make sure Aunt Toria knows this. The chances of a normal person becoming a sorcerer... No flexing in the library. <laughs> Arcana check to see if it's even possible for like a normal mundane person to just become a sorcerer king. I mean, I'm guessing sure. it's pretty much not possible, but... Uh, 17? 17. A sorcerer king? I mean, Tithian's apparently a sorcerer king now, right? <laughs> 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 yes, the hero of Tyre! <laughs> I killed that skeleton that one time! I mean, <laughs> I suppose your father could inherit the title, but the actual power of it, that's not something that can be granted. You, he does realize this, right? Who, who can say? He seems to talk more than he thinks. Is there nothing that I can do? Nothing I can offer you? No bribe? No pile of what? <laughs> Actually... <laughs> yes, bribes. <laughs> we, we are on the lookout for a particular artifact. Are you? And any aid that you can provide would be appreciated. See, it was lost, and, uh... She cast Detect Magic and see his mask. Yeah, yeah quick, quick, quick aside. Yes? What, what were the three artifacts again? Because I missed... Spear, Amulet, and, uh, of course, uh, the mask. Yes. Spear, Amulet... The spear was reclaimed, supposedly, by, uh, the survivors. The amulet is supposedly in the Silt Sea. All three together, and you get Voltron or something. Yeah. Oh! Amulet's in the Silt Sea? Yes. Okay. Supposedly. It was, it, was lost, it was lost in the voyage from Gustinel back to Rome. Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we yeah. Does this keep happening to you? <laughs> uh, spectacular. Or secret Samadu doesn't want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorcerer kings hate it. <laughs> um, what, what is what is this item that you see? Perhaps I can help. Well, it was lost back in Rome. <laughs> <clears throat> It is a mask of some renown. I, I have not heard of this. That's <laughs> but then I don't get the wrong gazette yes. delivered to my doorstep each well, week. Unfortunately for you, that is the only thing that we're after here. Well, it's it's other than wait, wait, what does it look like? Other than the pillars, of course. Yes, the pillars um, are actual reason. Uh, it looked like a... Um, I don't know how to describe it, like a dragon. A dragon on your face. <laughs> <laughs> and it's this particular one. I couldn't just go get you another dragon mask. No, it had great sentimental value for me. I see. Do you have a picture of it? Maybe one of my craftsmen could replicate it for you. Zami flips her a few book pages. <laughs> Zami. And she shows you. The drawing of the mask. And Wait, the what? The drawing of the mask. The drawing. She, she oh, draws yeah. Yeah. I thought you yeah. had yeah. from the book that you had. No. Oh, oh no, it's just no. wedged there, between okay. the pages. I the mask. It question, looks like though. this. <laughs> that is a good question, though. Were there pictures of the spear mask or the amulet inside that? There place? were, yes. So I've got all, all of them? Picture-wise, yeah. Yes. I mean, they're pictures. I'm going to copy those like and put them together. 3D prism. So we know what they look like now. Sure, yeah. Yeah, so it looked like that. Yes, yeah, so do. <laughs> uh, I've never seen this particular artifact before, but 
Well, we're mostly looking for these pillars. That's our actual purpose for being If they're not secured, the world turns to a ball of ash in a matter of years at least. <sighs> I'm sure. You think we're traipsing around the desert, fighting our way to pillars in every city? I don't know why anyone does what they do. Well, trust me, we didn't come to Naiba to way. hang out. Do you know what the deal is with the guy down below? Which? The dead the man. Dead. Dressed God like dressed a up like you. Templar. Dressed in a very poorly chosen disguise. Just terrible disguise. A male Templar of, of Nibane. That's obscene. It is. And I'm yet, afraid I didn't come in that way, so I didn't see it. Well. How did you come in? Being a wife of Nibane affords certain privileges. Missy step. <laughs> <laughs> There was one other thing I wanted to ask about. No laughing in the library! <laughs> you said the children of Nebene get out and wander because they've known captivity all their life, but you also said that their killing of random people is part of the plan, too. How so, exactly? The Far Heralds seem to desire chaos across the Tablelands. Whoever seizes control in that chaos, all the better. From what I can tell, they match your reports of doing it in other cities as well. This one seems to have come from Yurik, where they seem to be consolidating their efforts. Wait. Consolidating their efforts in Yurik? Well, of course Yurik's not going to fall as easily as Nibane or Rom. As well, embarrassed as I am to admit it, your tall friend is correct. City. Yes. But how could they even You've get seen a... literally every other city around here. Yes, and they're all shit. garbage. <laughs> How could they even have gotten a foothold to that degree, though? Well, we've already seen that they're well, excellent at infiltrating. I know at least where one of their handles is. So. Well, that what if, aside. What if one of the Pharaoh Heralds was Mono himself? Just saying. You really <laughs> should not say things That's in a place where we... That's right there. should not say that in a place where he's not allowed to yell. Oh, I like this. <laughs> Marvin just found his favorite vacation yeah. spot. <laughs> I'm... Yeah, anyway. No clearing your throat in the library. It's also, is this... Is this, right? is this normal? Like, you seem very comfortable with this spirit in the, uh, the library. There's some weird shit in this tower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna level with you. It's fucked up, bro. <laughs> uh, it's like... <laughs> what is he doing here? Does he just yell at people? Or does he yell at so he's, he's, he's just, just, is it a he's just the undead version of Cade. For eternity angry. From my understanding, he is here to prevent knowledge from leaving the library and for to prevent anyone from destroying anything that's within the library. Mm -hmm. This is Nibidae's property, and although my husband has not been seen in a hundred years, he takes his shit seriously. So he's not going to try to stop them from leaving just because they have the knowledge in their heads, is he? Right. Good luck. So, are we okay to go up and explore the rest of this tower? Is that, <laughs> is that chill? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say we're just lucky she hasn't even asked us how we got in yeah. the first place yet. I don't think it really matters in the yeah, last few days. We're clearly not supposed to be here. It doesn't matter how we got here. But Listen. Clearly we want different things from one another. I can't give you what you want for me. Ah, and the, pill the pillars. Yeah, yeah. Either of those <laughs> things just yet. If I find a mask in the, the gutter pillars. when I'm walking home, then I'll be sure to pick it up. Do you want to give her the pic a copy of the picture so she knows what to look for? I think she'll remember. I, yeah, I think she'll remember it just fine. It's fairly distinctive. Looks like a dragon. Horns. I get it. <laughs> How many people mm. dare to wear the mask of that creature? Let's do this. Dehojat, the son of Nibane, lives upstairs. Speak with him. See if you're convinced that he might be able to bring order to this city. I will speak with my father and see if he can be swayed to turn against the Far Hill's cause. Not even against it. We just need brief access. They don't have to know about it. What is it that you intend to do with the pillar, then? Secure it against them. Once we have done so... As far as we understand, their methods of tampering with it no longer work. We have a key that will enable us to do so. They don't need to know that you let us in or anything. We can just lock it down and leave. And lock it down? Well, not so much as lock it down. We just 
lock it away from them, specifically. It will perform the function it does now. It simply will be immune to further tampering. What if they don't want to tamper with it? That's... What if they just want to, like, blow it up? Does your... Does your security net take we care of that? We have yet to see one destroyed. One question. They haven't been destroying the others, right? You haven't seen them destroyed. Yeah, because they, they got to the one in the ruined uh, Sorcerer the Army, King Capital yes. before we did, and they didn't destroy that one. They damaged that one. They that damaged one it. Opened yes. a portal to the future. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so. Okay. Like, so do you, you, you think that they're not planning to alter it, but destroy it? I admit, I'm not positive what it is that they want. If they intend to destroy one of those pillars beneath your city, it's not going to matter who rules this area. The city won't be standing. That's one of the most powerful magical artifacts in all of Athos sitting there. Fine, then I will speak to my father, and I'll try and figure out what they want to do with it. And when you speak to your father, do underline the fates of everyone else who cooperated with them. They all thought they were getting what they wanted. They were all betrayed and killed in the end. It will probably be no different here. I don't suppose you have any proof of this. Unless you can find out about what happened in Tyr. Or like a video on time. demand of yeah. <laughs> those events happening in real time that I could watch. Well, I don't suppose you have any contacts in Tyr or Ron. Mm. No, I don't like to talk to anyone <laughs> from there. I can have you been to Rom? It's awful. I can horrible. sympathize. It's a awful city. Shall we go upstairs? Let's go Yes, upstairs. please. I need to get back. They're going to wonder right. where I am. <clears throat> Wait, where, where shall we speak again? Hmm. What was the name of that tavern we first stayed at? It's been a month. The, the King's down. Bastard. <laughs> as <a matter> of <laughs> bastard. <laughs> yes. Familiar with the King's Bastard? No. <laughs> the tavern? No. Why would I be familiar with a tavern? It's where would you like to meet then? Yes. The King's where bastard. would you like to meet then? Um... The gardens. You see the king's gardens on the way in. Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. Of I'll course. meet. You, I'll meet you there at noonday tomorrow. Noon tomorrow. All right. Very well. Very well. We will see you then. Like I said, there's odd stuff above. Right. I advise not touching anything. It's not advice at any time. You've been to the gardens recently. Any evidence of anyone defiling in that area? Oh, if there were, then they would suffer the consequences uh, for a thousand years. Well, certainly. We've just heard a rumor of a defiler in the city. A defiler? Yes. I don't doubt that there are a couple, but... None there are bold d- enough to take action. In the King's Gardens, I highly doubt it. But I'm asking about all kinds of other stuff, so why don't I ask about that too? <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you. Thank you for at least giving us an ear. I realize we may end up opposed in the end regardless, but... It's nice to actually try reasoning things out for once. Just know that we are trying to save your city and many cities across Athos, and also doing so. This alligator is terribly eloquent. <laughs> well, you haven't been around her long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nor shall I. Good Noon. Evening. Good day. Noon, then. Good evening. <clears throat> she disappears. Well, make sure you're not taking <clears throat> anything with you. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, I put the book back. Play it. And Toria will actually walk over to the Wraith fellow. Cast Dispel Magic. No. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the secret Lich handshake. Yes. <laughs> Very carefully, he takes out a book of his own and says, I would like to make a donation. Alright. He has the Lich's spell book. <laughs> As thanks for allowing us use of the library. And while while attention is sort of over there, I'm gonna turn to Marvin and be like, Marvin, I need you to be calm. I know your mask is filling. You'll get it back before for the month is out, all right? Don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> um. I want to do an inside check. Of course. Can I see if I heard roll that? one? How quiet was you can, that? You can give me a perception check, sure. Right. 14. This whole place is exploding. 14 seems uh, like... 10. Cade, Cade seems on the level. You hear them whispering. You don't hear about what. You 
probably they've been whispering this whole time, so it's difficult right. to tell. They were talking a lot of shit. Well, Kate was talking a lot of shit about Nibbin for a long time over there. So. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Um. And then Andrea bows to the Wraith fellow and starts heading towards the other stairs. <laughs> and makes it a and kind of like a knowing. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I see you. Oh, I'm getting a library card. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Says welcome to. He's the making club. a witch symbol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you read it and bait in mine. <laughs> doesn't seem to expect me to immediately read it, I will go with the others. Okay. So let's head upstairs. Oh, you read it. I am looking at it now, though. Now sure. that I'm over there. It looks like scribbles, right? It looks it looks more like scribbles, but also maybe like runes or something. It doesn't look immediately magical in any way. Okay. It just looks creepy and weird. <laughs> it looks like some kind of like weird... Much like Antoria! Yeah. Does it look like some weird sigil or something? It does not. It looks like it's a specific message of some kind. You just can't tell what. Okay. And comprehend lang languages last for one hour. No concentration. Is that helping? Um. Can we stick that on there? Yes, please. <gasps> Polo's back. Gross. Yes, I will say that yes, you can actually read it. All right. It says simply, "Let him pass," and then it seems to have a signature of some kind, but you're not quite sure how to pronounce it. Hmm. All right. Tori will keep it folded and actually keep it in his hand as he's mm. ha heading along. <coughs> so I'm just going to assume that Alara is joining our party. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Guest in PC. Hey. <clears throat> the stairs open up into a uh, floor that seems to take up the entire width of the place. Uh, there are a number of jail cell doors locked shut on this floor. Typical library. Are they yeah, like, yeah. And can you, is it visible inside, or are they like... Yes, actually, unlike uh, uh, the very bottom level, the um, library and this level are actually lit by torch. But are the, uh, are the cells, the doors to the cells, are they like barred so that you can see inside? They them? are. Okay. Yes. What's inside? Are they in, yeah, is there, are they full? It's like to capacity. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it looks. You can see. Um, you can see people inside, but none of them are standing. There's a lot of bodies inside. There seems to be like one to a cell, and there's quite a varied mix in here. There's, um, you know, humans, elves, a couple of dwarves. There's actually a halfling. There's a half giant crammed into one of them. Um, there's a um, brog shoved into one of them. Brogs are the four-armed guys. Goros? Yeah, the Goros. Goros. <laughs> I'm just going to call them the Goros from okay. now on. Um, That's not even the name of the race in, <laughs> in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> no. Sure it is. Don't question me on Mortal Kombat lore. I know Sorry. everything. <laughs> I've studied all their moves. Um, actually, I, 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 that's not true, actually. I can only ever do reptile spit move, and I lose every time. Yeah. Forward, forward, punch, forward, forward, punch. Yeah, that's, that's it. Everything else is too complicated. Um, give me a perception check. 14. 19. 15. 12. <laughs> M. 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 Six. Six? <laughs> you appear to be in a tower of some kind. We got a 19. Uh, so it looks as though um, some of these guys might be afflicted with whatever the uh, uh, cross-dressing Templar was afflicted with, where he looks a little stretched, uh, a little, uh, a little green in the, the gills, as it were. Yeah, I'll make the Arcana check uh, as Amy made to see if Ventura recognizes what's going on with them. Sure. Uh, that is a 13. 13. Um, no, not necessarily. Detect magic isn't still going, is it? No. Okay. There's no reason for me to ask that. <laughs> not that it's probably um, or anything. This cell, that one right there, is empty. Oh, well, get inside. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We gotta fill it. Yeah. Funny. Everyone in. OCD. 
If you look inside, is there anything in there? Hmm. Like, is there anything weird that now we can see the inside of a cell? Give me an investigation check. Okay. Not stepping into the cell, obviously. So, oh, sure. Are these bodies? Are they, these people a dead? They look dead. Cells? Okay. As far eight, as we can tell. Eight. Nothing uh, jumps out at you. I mm-hmm. Especially not. A, especially not a body. Yeah. What's I up? I want to walk around and like bang on the not bang but like tap <laughs> on the cell. Quiet up there. Okay. Yeah. See, like, you know, no bang in the see if, there's any, if there's anyone lucid enough to talk. Sure. Uh, none of them seem to react. Well, they did. She did refer to what the shadows do on the streets as feeding. Maybe they bring back snacks for later. Or if they've been trapped here a long time, maybe necessary. Perhaps when the shadows same. come back at uh, during the day, they fill these cells or other places and feed on the bodies People here. People have been disappearing, not just dying, but disappearing. We're rather lucky nothing happened to us, actually. Well, we destroyed Give it time. the shadows that reached out for us. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, when we came into this tower... Uh, yes, that was darkness. incredibly lucky because that was a terrible idea. <laughs> was check the safe. bodies for any sort of goo. Sure. Um, give me a... Well, first you're going to have to go into one of the cells. I can't just look. Um, you can look in from outside. Uh, okay, I do that. Okay, you don't find any goo on any of them. Give me a perception check. Four. Four. <laughs> goo check. You don't notice any goo on them. Do they want goo on them? <laughs> Uh, as disturbing as this, that's going to be a diplomacy check. <laughs> this is not the kind of session I thought I was going to be running is, here on my free to have anything com. to do with anything else. I agree. Maybe we, we, we told, should move on. We were told not to touch anything. That's that true. On. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing we did was touch a bunch of stuff. <laughs> well, following the rules isn't necessarily why we're here, but there doesn't seem to be anything to this. Is it Tori a rule breaker over here? <laughs> Let's continue on. Alright. Alright, trompy tromp tromp. Okay. We shouldn't be wary of undead. We've, We've seen them before. Be, but... well, they're, lo- well, they're all locked up right now. <laughs> <laughs> I should put like, you should put toothpicks on the outside, so by the time we reach the top floor we have to be like, what's yeah. going on? See, I was thinking about that, <laughs> no, but... I'm I'm sorry, sorry, I no, back. I was actually thinking about like, how should I portray this tower? But with the camera I think this works better. Goodbye. 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 I'm gonna refill my water a while. Want some more energy drink? Yes. Oh man, I haven't even rolled die. That's not true. I rolled a bunch of insight checks. There's not much left. Oh my gosh. Were you drinking at all? No, we just had like a skinny little can. I would have asked for more because no, no, no. I was asking if he was drinking at all. I was drinking. You wouldn't grab any water as well. I have any hands. What about my crit? There's also sales. Cornerstone cream ale. Get anyone wants it. Hey, so how much money did you win? Uh, I won about 260 bucks. Nice. So did you come, like, after all said and done, did you... After all was said and done, including money that I gave Fieldy to gamble, we pretty much broke even. Yeah, that's usually the way it works. I know it's like you got a free trip out of it. Did you go to the, any of the buffets there? Buffets? No. What? How do you go to Vegas and not go to a buffet? That's I didn't like see the... one buffet. What? Were you on the strip? Oh, yeah. Every single hotel has their own buffet. No, that's honestly the only thing to do in Vegas. That's what my dad so does. Yeah. He likes to go to casinos, and he's like, I win at blackjack so I can break even, and then I just eat my weight in delicious yeah. food. <laughs> and it's like you wind up getting amazing meals for free, essentially. Yeah. yeah. So the buffets get... are, are legendary. I know, know. It's like a lot of buffets kind of have low-quality food. Sure. Because it's, they want it cheap, but you know, you pay like $30, 40 for a buffet, but you're getting like... No crab legs and shrimp. I don't like that. Steak. <laughs> yeah, Lobo's only likes bad food, so yeah. he would rather go to like, I mean, like Dragon like, Buffet than like bad food Thomas there. Buffet. <laughs> but you can also get like your steak Good and your. Yeah. He'd rather go to Luby's. Yeah. A little bit of uh, Lubby's. Oh, Lubby's. <laughs> Herbie, are you okay? Yes. <laughs> yeah, this chair did that to me too. I made my deck so- save. <laughs> Great yeah, work. Sit down chair. <sighs> Yep. Okay. Cool. So you wind up in a uh, no. red no? spot. Red spot. No, well, I'm putting someone on the red spot, just not the front. I think it's well, the, don't put you in there because now you're inside oh. the room. Oh, sorry. Yeah. This way. Okay, yeah. Got so it. you're in a hallway that has uh, three doors, uh, two forking off into 
diagonals on your left and right. Right. And a long hallway. Other way. Oh, other way? Okay. Yeah. Marvin didn't want to oh. get the back. Fair Down enough. the middle. Alright. I can take a hit. Uh, <clears throat> this one, though. Are the doors uh, <laughs> different in any way? Or so, they... these doors look... Um, uh, these are wooden doors. They look very, very heavy. They have barred windows set in the middle. So we can see through. Hmm? So we can see through. You could see through, but there's like a yeah, slot. Oh, okay. um, and actually it opens in the That's middle the one. Last one. And there's a pair of just shining eyes that peek out. No, ah. Get my work pick out. Huh? Moment. <laughs> Stab it through I'll, the uh, no, Actually, I would like to step up to the shiny eyes. Mm. True. Stops pulling out the piece of paper and waits. Subjects. Yes, uh, we would like to gain entry into this establishment. Oh, good, 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 good. So if you'll kindly open the door, we'll just be on our way. No, 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 Observation platform. Testing. Left or right? I'll turn to the Left! <laughs> One moment. Uh, I have something you might be interested in. Mm. Toria holds us up to the door. Scribbles! <laughs> <laughs> you can't read it? No! Antoria, those are words. What is that? <laughs> Must not be for you. My uh, apologies. Antoria had a stroke. Are you <laughs> <laughs> so, left or right? Not my business to read, my business to observe. Test, 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 test. What are you testing? Fear. Fear? Fear. Oh, you'll find none here. Oh. <laughs> left. <laughs> well, wait, what's Are you opening the, the door on the left? Yeah. I'm Spectacular. Saying, I'm saying left anyway. Oh, I haven't gone left yet. Yeah, Can yeah, we choose what? our own paths? Individually? Oh, certainly. That sounds like a terrible idea. How about we all go down the same path? That, yes, yes. That, that seems Also sense. acceptable. Left! The oh, door in the left wait. slams open. <laughs> left, left. Okay. Face your fears. Sammy just steps right in. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Close the door behind her. <laughs> You're ah! <laughs> Blood well, sprays right. the great, like... Yeah. <laughs> well, marching order seems to have changed a little. Yep. A little mask kicks out. <laughs> <laughs> and as I promised. <laughs> yeah, it was on, it was on uh, Zami's drop, uh, drop jar. Yeah. I, I turned to the mask and said, like, great, just as we pull it out. <laughs> uh, I guess Zami went inside. The rest of us oh. will follow if nothing horrible yeah. happens immediately. <laughs> so the tiny little window uh, slams shut on the other door that you're seeing, and it opens on the one that you can see, Zami. Oh, good, good, good. Proactive. Appreciate that. Good, good. Energy. It's just a bunch of jump Needs. scares. <laughs> All right. Well, well. Now, react honestly. Give us your immediate thoughts. Don't hold back. Don't think about it too much. Just do whatever comes naturally. Each of us Giant spiders fall from the ceiling. <laughs> Are we, are we all in here? No, there's just Zami inside. Oh, the, door, right. the door slammed after oh, she came oh, in. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Oh, it was just me, all right. <laughs> can we, like, we can't see in, can we? Uh, I mean, there's a slat. No one's opened it. Yeah. Oh, but, but we could. You can hear oh, spiders on your side. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 it's, it's on Zami's oh, side. Oh, shit. I know exactly what comes naturally to Zami when danger uh, comes around. Yeah, she form. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. <clears throat> Open the window. <clears throat> Zamatrix, you can't see. <laughs> you cannot hear me. You so there's three or four giant spiders, but there's also a smattering of medium-sized spiders and many thousands of smaller <laughs> spiders. <laughs> They're on Fear Factor. Yeah. yeah. At this edition. Hmm. Actually, just daily life would qualify for that really. <laughs> Zamatrix. She just kind of mm. floats up to the top. Must be the pile must of be spiders just continues Gosh, filling. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> hmm. Do you guys actually see through the slat? No, no we're, we're yelling, yelling so we can't open it. <laughs> oh. But Kate's like, well, she's probably a fucking clown. <laughs> <laughs> Points for creativity, but still seems like cheating. Just not... Uh, <laughs> two, two little arms fall off the gas <laughs> like this. Yeah, like a uh, Lakitu's cloud or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can form shapes with it, I can't say anything now. <clears throat> How long does gaseous form last? That hours, is an right? excellent question. Yeah, it hour. is a while. I think yeah. it was an hour. Oh, you <laughs> leave the room, too? It is indeed an hour. It is a concentration save, though. Okay, and are you or going anywhere? Concentration, uh... Can you just, like, leave the room? And then go under the door? 
Uh, yes, I can go anywhere I want, actually. As long as there's... Goodbye! As long as, as, long as, as, long as it's not blocked... Uh, as, if it doesn't block water, I can go there. Okay, the ceiling and the floor would block water. Okay. But there's a door leading that way, and there's the door you came in through. Go in and punk this little fucking <laughs> Yeah, actually, I probably will. Give me a, a perception check, as a matter of fact. All right. Thirteen. So, uh, wait, thirteen? Yes. 13. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> Carry on. Whatever I said first, that was good, that was better. That's no, no. No. Okay, so, thirteen, nothing? I don't see anything? Mm-mm. I mean, the room is slowly filling with spiders. Actually, the big ones are, like, trying to swim like, in, like, all the little stuff. ones. Oh you guys God. could see, like, a lot of little ones, like, escaping out the bottom I'll, of the like, door. I'll, like, step back, like, uh... Zamatrix? Hmm. Did you bury her in spiders? I tried. Did it work? Not sure. Well, Do keep trying. Hang on. Let you hear, a, like, a lever going. <laughs> 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 The spider deluge appreciably increases. <laughs> the room is now more spiders than not. Oh my god. Alright, so uh, what happens if I try and fly through the uh, this door here with the guy inside of it, actually? Uh, you can do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Ah! Poison! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there's like a little imp on the other side of it. Right. I there's, I know what are there like a bunch of levers and switches in here? There are a lot of levers and switches. <laughs> I'm gonna change back inside this room. Okay. Ah! Hi! Could you let my friends through now? No! Testing. You could test the next batch of people that come through. We have business here. Mm. It's been a thousand years since yeah. anyone came through. He's yeah. so excited. Uh, fine, you can leave. But testing. More tests. Will, will the test be dangerous to them? No! No more than a room full of spiders. <laughs> I was. So Look at you! You're perfectly intact! True. You those faced were... your fear! You're cured! Those were real spiders? You're real spiders! Hmm. <laughs> Zamatrix, could you please open this damn door? Yeah, hold on. I'm no! It. <laughs> hmm. Listen, this, I could, we can hear this, right? Or oh, absolutely. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Loud as shit. <laughs> just, just leaning against the wall, smiling a little bit. Hmm. Seems amused for once. Zammy's afraid of spiders. It was a test. I don't, not, we don't know. So. Not really. I didn't hear any <laughs> screaming, and judging by the number of spiders that came in into the door, if you were afraid of spiders, we'd have heard it. It's okay, I'm in the control room, guys. Fine, good, good. Someone else. Right. Can you just, the right door. Can you just open the door from inside and let us through? Yeah, I probably could, but there's a lot of switches in here, and I don't want to, you know... Does it not just have a handle? There are many, many handles in here. I mean, There's on a, the I door. Just, there, there is a handle on the door. Oh. <laughs> turn that handle okay. on the door. <laughs> I'll turn the handle on the door. Uh, bolts of electricity course <laughs> through your body. Yes. <laughs> just you like, hear me? You, ah! But look out for traps. Sandy turns into gas. Your here. <laughs> Smoke is coming off me this time. You take 18 points of uh, oh, wow. lightning damage. Good. Ah! Told you to go! Hmm. Shock therapy. Yes, uh, <laughs> indeed. Um, Usually good for curing stubborn, thick headed subjects. Hmm. Indeed. So... Right! <clears throat> Opens the slot again, like, literally climbing, like, Right in front of your face, in front of the door. He's just ignoring me at this point? Well, he's like clambering on you. <laughs> oh, I'll just get out of his way. <laughs> Marcus will head into the right room. <laughs> okay. Are there any labels on these switches? <laughs> Anything I can read? Uh, there are labels, you can't read them. Okay. Or wait, 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 can you read? Common, draconic, secret. Secrets. Secrets. Oh, they're all in oh. secret. We never <laughs> quite determined that third language. No, I. That's true. I haven't as it's yet. Secret. I, I have an email. Yeah, to, it is actually put secret. <clears> yeah, I, I have an email that I have yet to respond to. There's right. some ideas on that. So. Um, as a matter of fact, though, it is written in Draconic. Okay. Um, and uh, you can see that there are a lot of uh, switches. There's one that seems to be marked Spiders. Oh, yes. <laughs> that has and that one's still down. Min Normal Max. I'll take that switch and put it down to 
None. Spectacular. I get shocked again. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> How much damage this time? You take uh, 19 points of lightning damage. Shouldn't be cold damage. Stop it! <laughs> okay, she won't do it much longer. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll stop doing that now. Good, good. Marcus, <clears throat> is everything all right in there? Seems to be an empty room. Not for long. Snakes pour from the ceiling. Snakes. Yes. Oh, I should have been birds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would just make him angry. That'd be great. <laughs> Does any character actually have phobias? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus will yell. This is a, a oh. fear test, you said. Yes. All right, Marcus. Are you just, scared yet? Marcus will just stand here with his full scrolls. Crossed. <laughs> <laughs> that might work. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Grabs another, like, wheel. <clears throat> Room begins to inexplicably start spinning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the snakes, like, wait, wait, oh my god. So are they, like, are the snakes going to, like, the side wait, of the room? Yeah, what are they centrifuge? Are they, like, <laughs> yeah. starting to get along the outside? They room? are, but they're still pouring in from the <laughs> middle. So it's like a big blender of snakes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna con check for nausea. <laughs> oh god. You get a, uh... Advantage in con or something, right? Uh, not advantage, so. probably only con saves. It's pretty rare. Oh, okay. I think um, he gets advantage on strength checks. Marcus feels sick, but... Uh, more, more than that, a couple of uh -oh. snakes bite you on their way across. They're just snapping. Okay. Out. But so the snakes seem pretty scared themselves, given the, <laughs> the state that they've been put in. Um, you take eight points of damage altogether. Give me two con saves. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> now, kind of shut back to the others. I would love to stop this, but every time I try it, I get 28. shot. 28, okay. And 27. Wow, alright. <laughs> they break <laughs> off their teeth on <laughs> your skin. And are you just, like... Just keeping his balance and just kind of standing there. <laughs> like this. He's, like, rocking around. Because, uh, with uh, Shazam style. <laughs> Shazam <Yeah>. style? <laughs> That's not a style. Is it? <laughs> oh, man. So Shaquille O'Neal, come on. It's the worst <laughs> thing. <clears throat> Wait, no, that's Kazam, isn't it? Oh, you're right. It is Kazam. Right. It is Kazam. <laughs> Shazam is what's... Uh, um, that's a comic series, right? That's what that one DC hero says to transform yep. yeah. into... Kazam. <laughs> It's into Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when Shaquille O'Neal was a prominent feature of the Fox Sound Dungeons and Dragons stream? Yeah, that was true. Yeah. We tried to call him out. And then we got a restraining order filed against him. We did. We're actually not allowed to say his name out loud. <laughs> but Shaq We're Fu going too. to pumpkin jail for that one. Everyone went forward to Shaq Fu too. All at once the room stops spinning and all the snakes... <laughs> Snakes. <clears throat> All the snakes have like little dizzy signs <laughs> above their heads. Marcus probably does too. Yeah. Where are, are you? Are you scared? Just a little dizzy. Mm. Hang on. Everything all right, Marcus? <laughs> <laughs> Marcus are you scared now? I'm not surprised. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. Oh, fine. The other door leading into the control room snaps open. Continue on. Are there any snakes that I can grab? <laughs> uh, or did they actually like drain out of the room? <laughs> <laughs> there are like a great male fall through it. <clears throat> um, there are snakes nearby that look like you might be able to grab. Yes. Okay. Marcus would like to grab one. Okay. It seems to be phasing out of reality as you pick it up. Mark, we get scared. What? Actually, I, one quick question: Did I actually manage to shut off the switch all the way, or did it? No, shut absolutely me? not. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um. Okay, so it just just uh, disappears in my hand. Basically, yeah. Actually, all the rest of the snakes are doing the same thing. All right. Well, well Marcus is traveling into the other door. He'll just sure. say. They're illusions. No! Don't give it away! Criminy. Are we 
we just crammed into this yes. tiny little <laughs> mouth. Like, like, yes. I'm like, Are you like right. getting shocked by the levers every yeah. time you move? <laughs> it's like playing Operation. You yeah, try to yeah. put Marcus in the room without touching any of the mini levers. <laughs> do, you, do, do, do any of you have any kind of testable conditions of any kind? Any, any I have you... a low amount of patience, but you are testing. <laughs> hmm. I'm Pulls scared. out a handbook and starts flipping through it. <laughs> I'm scared of money. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared of ending up alone. <laughs> oh! Hmm. Maybe, maybe some time in the prison cells. That, that'd be worthwhile. That'd be worthwhile. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Continue on your way, but come back here before you leave. We'll get some proper testing done. Well, it's good as well, not for as any, guys. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay, we'll come back. You promise? Yeah. You promise? I promise. You swear? For Macias? <laughs> Show no. <laughs> we should go now. You swear? I'm not touching you. Oh, <laughs> racist, are we? <laughs> Can you just let us go? We're not here to play with you. I'm not here to play either. I'm here to do important research. Well, you're doing it on the wrong. I've people. been left alone for a hundred years. <laughs> Why don't you just leave? What? You Why can just, just leave. leave. What? Who do you think I work for? I don't know. Do you care? The Shadow King Nimine! You don't just leave when he tells you to stay put? He doesn't, he doesn't care. Been here in a century. He's letting shadow things roam loose in his city, <laughs> kill what? people. What? Oh, that's not. No, no. The Shadow yeah. Queen has been freed from the pit at the bottom of this tower. <gasps> I have a fear of Shadow Queens. Well, you should what? step outside and see it tested. I can test myself. <laughs> you could. Oh, why haven't I thought of that? Oh, I should have thought of that after a couple of years. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. Well, All right, continue on, continue on. Let's go. I'm going to evaluate the effects of shadows on the city, <laughs> but also me. Why don't you test Go on, go on. How to turn yourself into a sorcerer, king, or queen. What? <laughs> Nothing. I guess we're heading through the room, careful not to touch anything. Yeah. <laughs> so many opens the doors for us. Yeah, the door okay. leading out of the control room is snapped open. Can you open the one in for us who yes. hadn't gone through? Okay, cool. Alright, mm. up we go. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get tested. Bugs are scary. <laughs> <laughs> The set of stairs leads up to a room filled with a shallow pool of some kind, with a self-sustaining waterfall feeding it on one side. Huh. Remarkable. Don't Thank you. Water. It does look like water, although it looks brackish. Oh, right. It's yeah. very, very... It's moss-filled. It looks like there's a fair bit of dirt in it. Actually, you can't see the bottom of the pool. You, Something it... might have been living here for a while. I didn't say that. Hey, and to fill <coughs> yeah. something has to fill a tank. Yes? Question about that lower room. You, you handed that thing to that guy expectingly. Mm -hmm. What is that? What is that? I don't know what language it's written in precisely, but it's from the librarian. It says, let them pass, or let him pass. I wasn't sure about that second word. Why did he give you that? Because I gave him something in, th in thanks for letting us use the library. It could be worth something. Maybe it would work on the Templar if we try to gain access somewhere later. No, this is probably not the Templar. This feels like it needs to be handed probably to something, well, similar to the one who gave it to us. Most likely. Mm. Well, we'll keep an eye out. Pat or Nibine himself. If it says let them pass, <laughs> it implies the person it's for is some sort of guardian. Chances are we'll know them when we see them. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, well, there's water. Mm -hmm. do be careful around that edge. Agreed, although there's not really much room to avoid it. Is there anything uh, unnatural in there, Antoria? Well, the waterfall itself is certainly interesting. It's a lot of water. I'm not asking your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I see, you want me to magically determine. <laughs> On the pool. Oh <laughs> man! We don't have all the time in the world. There's one way to find out. Throws you in. Yeah. What? Zami's in the pool. <laughs> no. Very well. If you insist. No Everyone, give me a perception check. Eight. <laughs> man. 
Uh, 13. 23. 23. 19. 19. 10. How fall. <laughs> yeah. How fall. How fall. That's all I have to say. How fall. How fall, Kate. How fall. How fall. You guys don't notice anything. Alright. I'll go ahead. And Torio will go ahead and start a detect magic ritual. Okay. Keeping as far away from the pool as the crappy room allows. <laughs> I'll go ahead while well, he's setting that up. I'll go ahead and use my uh, my detect evil. I can just and I, I could probably sense through the through the floor even I think. But okay. Just for it's fiends undead and celestials that I can detect with that. Which just those? I don't think any of those things exist in Athens. So what all does it detect again? Uh, fiends undead and celestials. Undead, undead definitely exists. I think they, they do. But okay. I'm gonna ready in action. And yeah, we've seen celestials. celestials. <laughs> if anything okay. pops out to attack us, I'm gonna shoot it with the ray of frost. Okay. Mark is the cord. Yeah. Is casting. <clears throat> and I'm just sitting there with my staff. I'm gonna pour a bucket of snakes on Mark is doing the response. Okay. Did you finish? Uh, yeah. Okay. The fountain pool seems to have some sort of a magical conjuration effect to keep it constantly sustained. But uh, other than that, you don't detect anything. As I suspected, the fountain is magically sustaining. Now that we've attained that important fact, is there anything else we'd like to do? Sassy wizard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's justified in this case. I'm smack and forth. We are in the weird tower of weird magical shit, so that's the, you know, scientific term. Okay, let's <clears throat> move on. Just be cautious of those waters. Yeah, just because the water is magical only and that it's sustaining itself doesn't mean there's nothing inside that's more interesting. But we don't really need to take a look at it. Click! Hi! Uh, Antorio, as you step on the tile, you feel it shift underneath you. The pool begins to drain. Uh oh. I'll face it my shield. <clears throat> Wait. Um. <laughs> so, is it been full of spiders. It is, not, spiders. <laughs> it is not full of spiders, no. Uh, there is a slab of uh, stone sitting uh, beneath it. Um, on the slab of stone, there's a treasure chest. That's oh, that not, looks ominous. That's not usually how traps work. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't a trap. On. Curious. <sighs> we were warned not to touch anything. <laughs> Detect magic is still going? Yeah. The chest actually radiates magic. The chest itself it radiates does. magic. Notably, it looks like the water seems to have been obfuscating whatever detection you had. Interesting. The water was hiding it before. The chest itself is magical, <coughs> which is a little unusual. Fat Wizard, Meta Chozo says, I missed you. You left Chozo without a goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it now. Well. <laughs> Damn. Harsh. Well, let's go on. Go upstairs. Yeah, this this is way too suspicious. <clears throat> well, hold on now. Mm -hmm. I agree, it's quite interesting. I mean... Well, go put your face on it, that's fine. We'll watch. Everyone give me a perception check. Uh, 19. 19. Oh, 7. Natural 1. 3. Everyone except for Marcus uh, can see that there are now two treasure chests. Where did the second one come from? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, I'm not a wizard. Uh, <laughs> You tell me. Actually, notably, like, it's not like there's another one, and then, like, boom. Like, now there's, like, two, like... Wait, there was one? Like, is it displaced? It's, it, yeah, it looks displaced. But they're the same size as the first I'll one. I'll tell you what. If there even was a first one. Let's go. This is bad. Why is it bad? I... It just smells wrong. I mean, what's bad? Well, we, we haven't. There's nothing in here that's been threatening. This entire tower is like, you know, friendly. I agree. Like, I mean, I haven't seen. I mean, I agree with moving on. I haven't seen a chest just duplicate itself. That screams of magical duplicate. trickery. It's hiding a chest but, okay. and putting the hidden, the unlocking mechanism in the floor where anyone would step on it. No, that's. Was it? I mean. I certainly wasn't looking for it. Could be yeah. lucky. How but. many people come up here, though? <laughs> Why would they implant? There are now three chests. One of them actually, like, rumbles a little bit, like... 
This is all sorts of wrong. Yeah, that is a little weird. Try stepping on the switch again. Have I actually stepped off of the switch yet? No, you're still... I mean, you've just been arguing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. We'll, we'll, Troy will look on the square next to next in front of him to see if there's any traps on that one. Okay. Uh, that is the natural one. So yeah. Oh, it's definitely traps. Can't you do your... your hands to... Let's see what's going on with this chest. It doesn't... Tampering with them, like... All three of them sort of jump over to the edge of the pit and start trying to stack on top of one another. <laughs> All right, this is not... Yeah, let's go. Toria's going forward. <laughs> yeah. Gonna try to just move on. <laughs> There's now five. Yeah. Uh, One's up. almost at the lip, and Zami's it's trying to, like... running up, too. I don't yeah. know if anyone else is running yeah, up, let's but... Go. Yeah, let's ready for the next... Uh, let's go. Quickly. <laughs> Quickly. Let's go. <laughs> Quick clear. clear I, than that. There you go. Is Marvin yeah. coming? Yeah. Is Marvin just stay behind? <laughs> Samatrix, watch our backs for those things. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Get his form. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, this, this step this time. This set of stairs seems to like go up into the ceiling. And it goes up for a little bit. And it goes up for a little bit. And then it starts to go back down a little bit. And then it it's go back up. It doesn't go back up. It stops. It's actually broken off. Like there's a couple of like bits sort of hanging in midair out in front of this black abyss. Floating on their own. Yep. And we can't like see anything up above us. You can't see anything up above you. No, there. There's is there a floor below us, or is it looking down into <clears throat> the chest? Looking, looking down, you don't see the chests or the pool or anything like that. You do see sort of a weird yellow glow. It's maybe about fifty or sixty feet down. Well, like this, the whole whole floor is glowing, or a particular this like, like a torch. It's not a particular source. No, it looks like it's coming from the floor. So far, whoever so I guess the this, floor is the source. So. Whoever created this tower has been rather fond of illusions. Perhaps maybe there's still a staircase here. Does anyone have something to try? Maybe. Marcus will roll a coin. Well, I guess try and bounce one in the direction of where the stairs would be. That'll be ten dollars. Damn it. <laughs> it I don't Seems street. to drop. Okay. Mm. And does it land at the bottom? You hear a chest. Bloop. <laughs> Anything? Bloop. Bloop. I mean, there's got to be something more to this because that girl said her brother was up here. Yes. Well, for that matter, the librarian seems to think someone will be interested in his message. Possibly. It could be for the librarian himself as well. Are you able to dispel the illusions? He signed it. Uh, if I was certain there was one there, I could certainly try, but. Casting that without knowing for sure, well, it's not an easy spell to cast. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hmm. it seems like there's truly not a floor there. This light, I wonder what that is. Just a yellow light hanging out in space 60 feet below? No, it definitely looks like it's coming from something. You just can't tell what it is. Well, mm -hmm. Maybe we should go down there. It doesn't look very bright. It's sort of a dull well, light. <laughs> I can help us I mean, fly I have, in, I have but... dark vision. Can I not see... To how far? 120. Oh. Well, you can actually see, then, that there seems to be sort of a rocky pit far below you. Um, there seems to be some sort of a weird goo uh, scattered around most of the floor. There's no doorways around? You don't. Or hallways? You don't or... see anything like that, no. It just looks what like What about up? Yeah, I'll look up, then. Um, you don't see anything up, no. Give me a perception check. Or investigation, as you prefer. Two. <laughs> you don't see anything, I'm afraid. Dark vision. <laughs> you close one eye. I yeah. Oh no! <laughs> oh man! Remember that time you lost an eye? Oh. Oh. Damn. That was oh. August. Yeah. Mark is going to call out. Hello. August. It echoes. Hmm. So when hello. Does this seem to be like... like Polo? A oh, I put him outside. Polo. Is there like a sheet of darkness? Is, or oh, did we come through... Outside. Oh yeah, I explained that there's a goo that maybe is like emitting light down there. <clears throat> so when we... Oh, sorry. When we came upstairs, so we basically stepped through a point and then below us it was dark. You... So it was a stone hallway that was leading up. And then past a certain point you were somehow like... Like, there wasn't, like, a flat area. You just somehow... Oh, we're going 
down now, and very quickly after that, it opened up into this pit that okay. seems to be this full Did maybe, width. Like, miss a turn? I wouldn't have thought there would be many turns to miss in a place this what small. What if there's a hidden wall somewhere? Does the stairwell continue to lead down if we just followed it, or does it is it broken off? Down it's broken off. It's okay. broken off right in front of you. Got it. Okay. Uh, and it looks like there's a couple of like half steps yeah. that would lead down, but then they just right. drift stop. Okay, got it. Okay, yeah. yeah. Using it's you know what it's a lot like is the um, path into the abyss in yeah. uh, New Londo. So using Mage Hand to control a torch, and Tori is going to try looking around using the torch, the Mage Handed torch, to give him light out to however far he needs for that. Okay. So he's moving the torch around, looking around that way, just to see if there's anything unusual that we haven't been able to see yet from uh, here. Uh, you don't see anything in particular. It only goes to 30 feet. Yeah. Way. Yeah. Yeah, the torch emits light in a pretty good radius. Though. Um, however, uh, you can see that, uh, the ceiling of this area seems to still be shrouded by the kind of magical darkness that you saw when you first came into this tower. Hmm. Interesting. So when the torch moves close to it, it just seems to, like, yeah. stop emitting light as much. Yep. That's the, that's the same effect that was in the entire tower when me and Zami came in before. Wait, does that mean that demons are coming back? Or shadow creature may be still in the tower. Interesting. That or the tower itself. <clears throat> and yet it's let us sit here this long looking around and hasn't done anything, if so. I would like to walk back to where we came up and, like, rub my hands against the wall to see if we... If there's any, like... Illusionary walls okay. that we missed. Um, give me a... Touch check. No, that's fine. If you spend that enough time uh, doing it, I mean, there's nothing immediately threatening you, aside from Cade. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, you scour the walls uh, going back and uh, don't find anything. All Do you go all the way back to the pool? I mean, enough that... I see the chests, and I'm like, well, how many chests are there? There are now 13 chests, okay, and, and they're I... trying to make, like, a pyramid, and one oh, of them is sorry. almost, like, on its way out. Uh, they all, like, freeze when they see you. Uh-huh. I will say... And then slowly start to get back to it. I will say, I will scream out to them, if you don't stop, I'm gonna shatter you. <laughs> <laughs> back upstairs and say they're still growing. <laughs> Lovely. 13 or so. <laughs> Lovely. And we well, need to figure out how to get forward from here. We could try to climb down. Perhaps. How far down did it look? 60. Well, there wasn't 60. anything down there except for a few... Well, the stairs were originally heading this way. Well, right, so, but I, what I'm saying is I can see down there. So this, this down there. weird area doesn't appear to be connected to the area below us? It looks like there might have been a stairway there, but... There so is no longer. Tanger had a pretty good look at the tower when he was outside and was sharing the senses of Antoria. How close to the actual top of the tower do I feel like we are at this point? Uh, give me an intelligence check. Okay. Uh, nine. Mm. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you big dummy. Difficult to say. Alright. Marcus is gonna, like, kind of get prone. Okay. And just look over the edge of the bottom of the stairs. Okay. Just because he doesn't trust his... Does he have a phobia of heights? Huh? <laughs> phobia of heights? Yeah. Well, he does have a phobia of death. Well, I guess. <laughs> he doesn't act like it. <laughs> a phobia of rocks. Give me, not a phobia, but... Give me a perception check. Okay. 20. 20? Um, you can spot something strange down below. It looks like there's set into the side of the wall down near the base of it a ladder that starts to climb up but then doesn't come up to the level that you're at. Ladder from the bottom, but doesn't reach all the way up to yes. where I'm Okay. It's almost like maybe there's a lower tier or something like that that just isn't there anymore or something like that. Okay. Um, I'll inform the others. There seems to be a ladder that reaches from the bottom, but doesn't come all the way up here. That's strange. It just, the ladder, like, the ladder just ends sharply? Huh? The ladder? It just ends? It just, yeah, ends. What Could it be it's going into the shadow creatures and we can't see it anymore? I mean, you can see where it stops. Sure. <clears throat> okay. Like, there's not no, like a, just, there's not a blob of darkness down there, is all clear. Okay, the ladder okay, just okay, does yeah, not continue. Yeah. I don't... Is it out of reach? Yes. Yeah. 
I can't reach it from here. But I mean, if there was a ladder, but there was already a staircase, what's the point of that ladder being there? Well, so it was it's rather weird, yes. Good question. It has some purpose, clearly. Well, it seems like possibly there was another platform at an, another point in time that the ladder would reach up to. Well, this is strange. We could try borrowing a rope to get down to it, but I'm not very good at climbing things, I can tell you that now. Maybe there's some magic at work here. I'll well, try to detect magic again. Okay. Oh, it'll take a few minutes, but... While he's doing that, I'll go ahead and... I'm gonna at least affix our climbing kit and use the ten minutes that he takes to to find something to secure it, too. Sure. Marcus. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, <laughs> no, no if I'm climbing down there, you're coming with me, because no one else here can climb the fucking ladder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rip, so I'll spend that time getting that ready in case we need it. Okay. Um, so you can detect a couple of different kinds of magic at work here. Right. First, there's the magic obfuscating the ceiling. Um, there's also some sort of weird projection down below. It looks like you're almost looking into... It, it's almost as if you're looking into a portal that allows you to see exactly what's on the other side of that portal. And the edges are woven into the edges of the uh, tower such that you can't see that it's not just part of the tower. Don't climb down there yet. That's not actually the tower anymore down there. Well, I'm not in a hurry to climb down there. It's one of our options ready. It's apparently a portal to a place. It's designed so that the portal is seamlessly hidden. It looks like just part of the tower. Well, that one Templar said she got here through her own, like, she has ways or whatever to get in this tower. Perhaps that portal has something to do with it. Right, but we are seeing what's on the other side of the portal, but what that means is that if we go down, we may not necessarily be able to come back up the well, same way. Well, that means that, that what is on this side of the portal, we can't see. Correct. The portal is obscuring that from us. Well, so, with that information, is it? can I assume that the ladder is entirely on the other side of the portal? Or? Yes. Okay. So, so, here's a question. What is our purpose here anymore? What so are we doing? Here? We were going to talk to this son of Nibane to see if he would clear us to reach the pillars. Ah, but that's true. I'm also going to look around and be like, I don't know where he is or how to reach him. True. It would be good to talk to him. Hmm. Well, but we could have asked. I bet he has a lot of information. So is the rope hanging down, like, into the bottom area now? I haven't, I haven't cast it down yet. I just secured mm -hmm. it. Let's cast it down and flip back up and see what happens. We never got a name for the sun, did we? You did. We did. We did. We did. Yes. It was, was a dark sun name, so I won't remember it. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's got some obnoxious consonants in it, too. Dojacked. Dojacked. D H O J A K T. Dojacked. Wait, wait, wait. D H O J H K T? J A K T. J A K T. Yeah, so I'll throw the rope down there. Okay. And then I'll pull it back up. Seems to behave normally. What if we attach someone to the rope? I'll tie it around Samatrix's throat. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> well, I'm willing to climb that way. Like, <clears throat> and I'll, I'll pitch it back down. Be like, all right. Um, was there any other magic, by the way, other than the portal and the darkness? Not that you can see, no. Okay. Um, I'll go after you. All right. Uh, Wait, what if we attached it to? The two of us are going to climb down and look at it. Yeah, but what did we attach the rope to? Oh, I assumed it's probably one of the broken edges of the stairs or something. I didn't have to make a call. Are you going to attach it. a rope that you're dangling from to a broken edge? Well, I assume that the... Marcus just starts to climb down. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's the rope? I mean, the... If your will check is high... The stairwell ends enough. in, like, crags, Dis Disbelieve. It does. You can try like, to wedge it in there, yeah. It just seems like if there's, like... You can also hammer a, a, a python. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's, like a, it's a, a kit, so I assume yeah. that, that there's shit in there for securing things. Yes, I think that's fair. Okay. All right, well, watch the rope, so... While I head down. Don't dump a bunch of snakes on Oh, we'll on watch it. We won't do anything to it, but we'll watch. All right. Um, <coughs> going down. I'll show, follow shortly after you in case there's trouble. I'm going to yes. turn around to the staircase and prepare... Shatter. <laughs> I don't have that, but I'll prepare Frostbite if something comes crawling up. Okay. Actually, Ray of Frost, because that'll slow him down. Okay. Oh, God. Presumably you'll be able to see me on the other you side. Just take over half the chest with every object. Jamie, like <laughs> I know, I know. It was a funny idea. Jamie, give me a perception check. Okay, that was quick. Seventeen. Okay. <clears throat> All right. 
proceed. Well, I see you, Marcus. <laughs> Shall I roll? A no, you don't. You're facing climbing. the other way. Oh. What's, yeah, a, what's going on? Do a climb check. Yes, give me an athletics check, please. Easy, Easy peasy. 21. 21. You're able to rappel down with the greatest of ease. Okay. Cool. Like swinging, climbing. Okay. Ever seen Princess Bride? Yes. That's climbing up. So that's yes. It's climbing up. Anyway. Anyways. <laughs> anyway. What happens to me? Uh, you descend down, and as you get lower and lower, you can smell some sort of foul filth down below. You can see that there's some sort of weird ooze <clears throat> along the ground. It looks as though you're still in whatever this tower is, but now you're almost descending into like a refuse pit or something like that, except it's all yellow and grimy and giving off this weird glow. There's these weird rock formations sort of jutting out of it. A giant fire-breathing centipede eats you. <laughs> uh, Is there a... Looking up, actually, the rope seems to disappear into darkness. Okay. What do, What else... What do I see looking up? Darkness. Do they, oh, I'll, I'll, okay. It's, do they see him disappear? The no, they. <laughs> you guys can see Marcus just fine, but oh. if you look up, you can't see anyone. It's that same sort of okay. cloudy effect. Uh, Interesting. Just the beyond rope just that disappears point, into it. is yes. there like a platform I can easily like step off onto? Or? There's not. There's only okay. the uh, the oozy pit down below. So the entire ground is covered in ooze. Almost. There's Almost. these weird outcroppings. Broke the rocks. Some sort of a weird rock that you haven't seen in the tower before. Okay. Here, I'm actually. Gonna... Sort of... Split. Put, put, put that a little bit on the side. Oh. I'm going to climb back up. <laughs> okay. So that's... I see. Hopefully <clears throat> everything goes safely when I climb back through the blackness. Yep. Okay. Uh, as far as you as can, as tell, can tell, I mean, it's just dark. Okay. And you arrive back at the staircase. Okay. Sammy, so, um, give me another perception check. Uh, perception. Sammy. Uh, perception. Perception. Twelve. Okay. <clears throat> Great. Uh, <laughs> Great. <laughs> so the ground down there is covered in yellowish ooze, and there's a few spots that are rocky to stand, it's but... Exactly what I said, like, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> He's right. What was... What was... <clears throat> Could you see us? I couldn't see you on the other side, no. It was what was up there? Pitch black. It was just darkness. Like this? Yes. Can I point up? Is that magical darkness? Yes. Definitely. Yep. So we... maybe someone's looking at us now from up there? Quite or, possibly. Or fly up, but... Oh, if no. only we had a way to get up there. Well, so I can only take one other person with me. I'm... I don't don't bring anyone else to up with you. Just just yourself. <laughs> if, I, if I use this last one, someone's going with me. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, give me a perception check. Perception check. Seven, three, six, ten. Twelve. Who got a fifteen? You hear <laughs> you hear some kind of tromping noise coming from the stairwell. <sighs> It sounds like those chests uh, are getting close. Let me go. Well, I'll go talk with them. They <laughs> seem to understand me last time. I'll, I'll get your back. And I'll follow behind. Marvin. With your hand like this behind them. <laughs> no, I have to keep Marvin alive. All right, so you trudge back up the stairs and round the corner, and the hallway is literally just filled with chests. I'll. I'll say they no, screech to a halt as they see you. Now hold on, I told you, get back, get back to the pool. They quiver in place, but they don't retreat. I'm warning you right now, if you don't go back... Some of the back don't seem to have heard, and so they're <laughs> like ramming in. And so the front line is just sort of slowly pushing forward, even though they clearly don't want to advance. Uh -huh. <laughs> I perhaps we should take. Don't our... want to anger them, but I don't know what other option we have. How far, like, if I were to give a time estimate based on how long, basically how <laughs> long do I think it is until they reach the entire park? Uh, like two, twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Yeah. We should probably oh, just climb down. I should it down. probably start casting spells then. I mean. Yeah. 
Uh, you you I'll do go, you. I'll go ahead and shatter. Okay. Let me double check and I still have that spell. It's <laughs> <laughs> a, a good thing you check. Yeah. yeah. Good bluffs before. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Cool. It's a hello. Hello, Polo. Hello, bathroom. Goodbye. 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 Hello. Yeah, I'll go ahead and shatter, and it, it's basically a ten foot radius. Okay, you'll catch a fair so number of them. Whatever that is. Yeah. Yep. Um, they get saves of some kind. No, they don't get any kind um, of save if they're in They have disadvantage, and okay. they have a con saving throw. You're trying to hit um, yeah, I'm, seventeen. I'm just gonna do one for the group. Yeah. Do not succeed. All right, so I'm gonna roll damage. Here. <laughs> they take more damage too, right? No, it's just they have disadvantage. Oh, okay. Um, Unfortunately, every shatter like effect lo- works slightly differently, even in the enlightened fifth edition age, because Warner of Blasting works differently than Oh, this. non-magical objects not worn take. They seem magical, though. Take, I think, that, yeah, they're probably magical. They right? seem. to be <laughs> magical. Does uh, uh, so a smidge. We've back, we back to God Detect Oops. Yeah, we did. So it's going to be 11 points of damage. Okay. If they don't succeed. They did not that succeed. Was not your best roll. <clears throat> uh, do you want me to roll for wild magic? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. They take 11 if they don't succeed, or if they don't. If they, if don't. they don't. Okay. Does that affect no. your plots? What? Does that affect who you're going to kidnap with gaseous form? <laughs> No. Which hostage you're going to take did, to ensure uh, your safety? Did that <laughs> exactly. appear to affect them I probably in a. Do that. I just fucked them up manner? Yeah, or? so a bunch of them are basically just going to explode into uh-huh. little bits of uh, grit and splinters, and out of which uh, hundreds of frogs spill out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe that'll feed the chest. And then the rest of the chests that weren't hit are still. We have. Frogs. So, did a wild magic thing happen? No. (laughs) Well, apparently, there's fucking frogs. (laughs) To us, to To me, that's indistinguishable. (laughs) To us, we think wild magic happened. They begin pouring past you on the stairs. I want to cast another spell. Okay. I'm going to cast Cloud of Daggers right in front of me. Oh, Oh, excellent. Trying to get a good use of that. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) That's uh, disgusting. Yeah. So this is... Ba- I'll just roll once for damage, Yeah, that's I guess. I mean, th- they only have one hit point, so... Okay. Yeah. Uh, basically, you just create a meat grinder in yeah. front of you. I'm gonna... Oh. So, <laughs> Slime and Viscera just start... Like, they're Frog stampeding everywhere. towards this you. Would be, this would be for the, the chests as well. If of they course. Coming up there. Yeah. Uh, like seven damage is what is, they're gonna do. Okay. Take. Frog legs do. Oh, so, how far in front of you are you casting it? Well, you said they were, like, swarming me, so I think I'm doing it, like, right in front of me and then just retreating back okay. to the party. Okay, so, yeah, you cast it, there's just a vapor of frogs just spilling all over you. A few of them made it past you before you got the spell off. Yeah. And the chests are coming through, and they're taking some bumps, but they've got enough hit points to get through. I will say, guys, we, got, we have chests <laughs> <and> <laughs> <frogs>. <laughs> a lot <laughs> happening back <laughs> here. <laughs> So, so we want to try to climb up here. I don't know how we could. So whoever feels less secure about yeah, climbing <clears throat> could come with me. But All I right, fine, Some of the frogs are just spilling off All the right. stairwell. <laughs> the, other, the others are going to have to climb. Into the goop? Into the ooze? Okay. Well, let's go. Right. Are you guys going up? <laughs> <Jared, laughs> <Jared, Jared, laughs> I assumed up. How? Well, we're going to head down, I think. He has a climbing kit, doesn't he? <clears throat> Spikes. We don't have guys, time, though. We have chests that are coming. Yeah, they're going to bark us off. I'm going down, down the road. Down. Down. <laughs> down seems to be the winning vote. Follow All right, well, then I'm going to gash this for me and Antoria. You okay. Can, you can check up or down? Down. Or Antoria's going down. Yeah. <laughs> he can go poke his uh, head Yeah, up. he can just poke and then... The, I'm convinced the staircase might go further up because it might just be we can't see. Further you go up. check that out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought too. I wanted to go up. I, I, I well, mean, you should have gashed his form. I'm going up. I'm going to well, go up after. Well, all. You don't, you don't know how you're going to make it up there, but well, you gashed his form. Actually, I already did. Use it oh, on you already tour. did. Oh, yeah. you did both. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Marcus, what are you doing? Climbing down. Cade, what are you doing? Following Marcus. What are you doing? I'm 
holding on to Cade. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Because it's like floating down as a gas. What ball. are you doing? I'm gonna float up. Okay. Good I point. want to see if there's something up there. And you're just going straight <laughs> up. Like a giant well, I guess I'm gonna follow where the staircase would go. Okay, then it goes down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it goes down. Oh, okay, I thought it went. Staircase never went up. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it does go up. Yeah, it goes up into a shredder of frogs and chests. Yeah. Well, then, then I'll go. I'm just gonna go up then. Let's okay. see if there's something up there. Okay. Yeah, we did hit that. Yeah. I can always catch up to you guys. So. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know. Right. let's go ahead and flip the. Are getting mad XP for all those kills? Oh, of course. All right. <laughs> so you want? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so there's a. You're ruining it all. I'm sorry. It's okay. We forgive you. This is just how I am. Not <laughs> this up. Sorry. <laughs> it takes practice. Okay, so you guys descend. You're cloud of horrible... Yeah. You move slowly, but... <clears throat> yeah, no. And the... Uh, who's first down the rope? Where are you... Are you stepping off to make a room for these guys, or are you just gonna... Yeah, can dangle? I step to, like, one of those... I assume that this rock red dot where we're coming down? Yeah. That is where the rope descends, yes. I'd like to do my best to try and swing over to that, that rock. Okay. And land on it. Give me an athletics check. Double ones. Uh, no. Not today. Uh, 25. 25. You're able to... Nim- yeah, sure. <laughs> Chivram is not impressed. Marcus is not surprised. Okay. Um, Zami, mm-hmm. you ascend up into the darkness. Sure do. Yeah. Uh, it's dark you for a while. can't see anything. What other kind of senses do you have access to? As far as I know, touch, nothing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think you can touch either. I mean... Uh, you can touch. You can see. So, you have your normal senses. Oh, okay. But you can't talk, darkness. you can't cast spells, you can't take actions, you can't manipulate objects. Okay, right, and you're just floating up? Right. Okay. I I don't think I'm going to go too far. If I don't find anything within like a few turns or whatever, okay. I'm probably going to go back to After a couple of turns, you can see that there is something, sort of. It actually seems to be a little bit uh, lit, even though you're in this magical darkness. You can't see down because you're inside of it. Um, but you can see this weird, like, it's just sort of a glimmer. It's some sort of a weird oval up above you. Got a secret area. Wow. Getting such a cool treasure. So we're yes. Who's next down? Oh. Who's next down the rope? Uh, I think it's me and Marvin. Okay. I assume. Where are you going? Uh, I'm gonna. I'll slide down to the end of the rope, and then I'm gonna say. Is there actually how much space is there on that stone? There's not a lot. Not a lot. There's a half giant. I'm gonna say. Uh, <laughs> Marcus, can you take Marvin? To be your only one. I'm gonna try to. What? Learn. No. <laughs> Did you, can Templars do that? There's barely not much room for us to stand. Yeah. So unless so, you want to stand in goop, why? Well, I, I just also you. You have a fear of intimacy. For you to jump over there, you have to do an athletics check. Unless you want Marcus to pick you up. <laughs> it's what's happening I here. I don't like the idea of being handed around. <laughs> so, so, especially between two large burly men. Yeah. <laughs> so if, well, Marvin, that's what's happening, so get with yeah. the program. Marvin can, uh, it's can 2016. speak no. up if he doesn't want it to happen, but I'm going to try to swing my weight towards Marcus so Marcus can grab you. If you want to object, I, now's I, the time. I, I will do the grabbing as opposed to him grabbing me. Okay, that's up to you guys. That's between like, you motherfuckers. Well, we're just going to grab each other then. So. That's fine, but I don't want to be like, oh, you saved me! That's what's happening, though. <laughs> Too bad. But it's perspective. <laughs> I can drop you in the ooze if you want. So, do you, do, do you do? Yeah, I, I was... Oh, yeah, I guess. Well, do do well, you do? Picking do them do? off and... Huh. Okay. Trying to... Do you, if there's no room to put him down, then I'll just... You might be able to fit him on there somewhere, but he's gonna... If he has to do anything, he's gonna have to keep his balance pretty well. Alright. And how, how wide is this room? I'll just have you it's just here. here. Well, what's the measurement? You want me to put you down, it's, I can put uh, you down. five feet to a square. No? Yeah, so it's like... About 40 across or something? 40 like across, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Zami, what are you doing? How far away do I think that light is? Uh, it's if you've been moving up for uh, Come into the light. You, you've gone maybe 20 feet up it looks like it's maybe another 30 it's an angler fish the Victoria gas cloud is staying near the rope for what it's worth okay. almost as if it's expecting at any moment the concentration to be broken I'm gonna go back above. yeah I'm gonna go back and join the party but I'm give, gonna let them know give me a wisdom save uh oh <laughs> 
Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Six. <laughs> oh, Lord. Whatever that is seems kind of compelling, actually. Okay. It's, oh, yeah. I mean, that, that could be anything. I what could it be? I it's a bunch of self replicating treasure chests. <laughs> what could it be? Actually, there's like chests and frogs. Like, 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 and I'm gonna like, so at the <clears> base <throat> of the rope, I'm just gonna put like a foot on the, the sure. stone just so I don't have to use my full strength. To hold sure. Up are there chests falling hand. into the ooze? There are, and as a matter of fact, they seem to be sinking. Okay, then Why I'm creating full of frogs. <laughs> I... Can I, if I look around, do I see Antoria or... Um... Antoria, where are you? I'm an it's orange hovering. cloud of mist hovering above Cade on, around the rope. Okay. If it was yeah. a person, you'd gather up, boys. Well, that's pretty <laughs> obvious that that's Antoria. Or it's got his nameplate up above it. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the two, right? We can't tell them apart. That's, that's probably true. true. Unless it, her gas pot is blue. <laughs> Although I, 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 Maybe I, I it think is. after this long with Sammy and Antoria, the one who would the go one, up I was is say, not going to be like, I would assume that that was Antoria. Sammy would have been in the ooze. I feel compelled to go towards the light, so I'll probably head towards the light a little bit. Mm -hmm. At least you have to move slowly as a gas <laughs> plant. Yeah. Yeah. were you were doing? You didn't no, turn them into frogs well, somehow? Um, I... I, I but I like the chests. But I'll also kind of still be probably back in the back of my mind. Like, I kind of wanted to go back, but that light no. is pretty shiny. So, no, the, no, the no. light seems to be like a giant brain. Oh. And you can see, scattered across it, like so many tiny oh, frogs. Say, just like a what? lot of eyes. Oh, well, There's a couple of big eyes, too, and they seem to notice your approach. Hmm. Give me another wisdom save. That guy sucked. Did you know, I actually just discovered that, um... It's good timing. D6s are the only dice that are factory tested to be absolutely precisely weighted. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. That is interesting. I believe that. Because they mass produce so many different ones of so many different sides. Uh, and there's something to do with, like, the conditions where the resin hardens that it's too difficult to test every single one of them. But people notice if a D6 is misweighted, so they test those, and they don't strenuously test any of the other ones. Wow. Interesting. What did you get? 17. 17! Okay, you come to your senses just a bit. You think you might be able to uh, take control of your actions once more. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm going to try and bring in action. Yeah, there's a giant brain with eyes there. Just turn back into a dragon. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna fly away if it gets you. Speed. Okay, you begin to waft away. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Give me another save. Oh boy. Okay, that was better. 18. 18, okay. I think you might be able to uh, continue on your way. Alright. What are the rest of you guys doing? <clears throat> Holding Marvin. So, now that we're down here, what, what do we do? Uh, uh, like, like, look, look, look around the room. <clears throat> Perhaps you can burn away exits, this exit, and I'll gesture and be like, "That does that ladder possibly lead up somewhere?" That ladder leads up into the darkness. Yes. Do you think we can? Burn is there it um? Is there a way to see if I recognize that creature? Maybe you've read about it, or maybe you've seen it for some reason. What creature? I think the brain I saw anyway. You don't remember any brain. Hmm. Right. Like it's a possibility. I just don't know. Whatever it is, I don't want to. Burn I, some fumes up to us or something. I, uh, There's wow. actually like a pile of chests, just like. Are they like starting to like? Yeah. Like I guess if we wait Are they being long enough. By the ooze? They're very slowly sinking, but there's enough of them falling now. Like they're battered because of a cloud of uh, sharp objects. <laughs> but there's actually just like a mound of like opened. Wait, they're not taking fall damage. They, they are. They are, but they're not shattering. Okay. <clears throat> the Antoria cloud will start... It's like a corpse pile of chests. <laughs> so, so they're like forming a, a cushion for the other ones. Yeah, they're, or even like a tiny little island. Yeah. The Antoria cloud's slowly going to float yeah. kind of around the chest heading for this area over here. Okay. Like, that's a good idea. Antoria, do you think you can check out just above the ladder to see what it looks like past the darkness? Cloud stops for a moment and kind of bobs up and down, and I'll be like, when you resume, I'll be like, when you come back, and I'll point to like this one. I'll be like, hover over the left if it's safe, right if it's dangerous. 
Mm, cloud stops remote, moves <laughs> up and down again, and then resumes what it was doing. You said left of dangerous? Yeah. Okay, left of dangerous. Left. Wait. Okay. Does being enthralled or enraptured end... Uh, enraptured, my goodness. Whatever it is. Does that end concentration checks? If it did, you fell to your death. Uh, <laughs> Not necessarily. Well, probably. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> just like chest and frogs and one Xamatrix. No, that didn't happen um, when we were rolling, so we're not going to wreck on that. Alright. Okay. But if it happens again. Yeah, that's good to know. Right. Here's your um, address. No, that is not one of the conditions of Charmed. Okay. Very few conditions actually break concentration directly. Alright. But anyway. Death. Uh, yeah, that one does. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alright, Nintorio will float adjacent to the ladder so that if he suddenly ended, he could grab it and okay. float up into the darkness. Okay. Do I see the tower? Uh, you do, nice. but you see a different floor. Okay. Whoa. <clears throat> Right. Here, let's put this. Just put it under the uh, camera. Uh, under where? Under the camera, so everyone oh, can just see. Just anywhere? Yeah. Oh, good. That's yeah, that's fine. Good. Perfect. Uh, yeah, that's lining up like a boss. And Tori right? can yeah, like see from, that, uh, right? Yeah. It's, it's from the he floats back game. down. <laughs> <laughs> well, why? He floats back down and floats on the dangerous uh, platform. <laughs> that's not into that. Well, wait, what did you see up there, though? He can't speak. The cloud. Yeah. Kind of yeah, both of you are cloud. You're, you're not even there. Yeah. Yeah. You guys can't talk cloud. <laughs> so there's an Antoria cloud floating here. It doesn't seem to be like stressed out or anything. Here, since that was the... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's stressed out. Yeah, as who's what? Yeah. Well, it's not like, you know, well, spazzing out, but it's just kind of <laughs> calmly floating over the one that was indicated for dangerous. Dangerous? <sighs> well, there we go. This, well, there's no way out of here. Clearly... Oh, yeah, go... I mean, that's... We, uh, we don't have a lot of options. Alright, good. It's Did Xamatrix die? <laughs> I don't know if I float. I'm, I'm, I assume that I can I'm take some down. I'm trying to catch up with and, it now. The Antoria Cloud <laughs> kind of moves side to side a little bit when you ask that. If, I don't know if anyone was bothering to look at him, but he does do it. Yeah. I wasn't. How he has no way of getting me. Well, we can. Zami is just near us. <clears throat> I could get myself. At double there. speed, I'm moving 20 feet. Okay, you've made it down by now. Okay. Uh, so there's. A slightly light blue cloud, I guess. Like an island of chests oh, there. here. If we waited long enough. With the condition that there are still chest oh chunks God. and entire ones that are just Are the ones that are down still here spilling. multiplying? They're not, no. Okay. <laughs> well? I want to cast Fireball at the ooze to see if it will burn. Okay. So I do that. <laughs> on on my reasonable. shoulder? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you want me to turn you? Because you're like facing the wall right now. Point. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, not it's, it's not a hard target. <laughs> bursts into flames. Does it like clear a path? It does not. So it bursts into flames and it doesn't burn up? Correct. Is it like still burning? Yeah, it so is. It's like the fire, like it's like spreading. fire on water. It's or spreading very slowly. Well. It's not like the entire room isn't engulfed. <laughs> it's like, <woo. laughs> But it isn't going out either. Well, maybe we just wait long enough and the ooze will burn up. With you guys at it. Just hold your breath. <laughs> For a long time. We're gonna get cooked. Sammy just sees a Do we know that? Yeah, Sammy's yeah, so like, like we actually... <laughs> we don't know that the ooze is necessarily harmful. It's gross, We don't. But it true. smells nasty. <clears throat> um... I will Parker. actually Parker. reach down... I will, I will actually say... Um, lower me down and I can touch it to see how it feels. <laughs> Marcus is not surprised. I think that's Marcus will try and point. place him as much as possible on rock. Okay. I will reach my hand down and touch it. Okay. Feels gross. Is it yeah. hurt? It does not. Is it hurt? Does it crawl up my body? It doesn't, no. Okay. I will... How does it taste? Take can I borrow one of your swords? I want to see how deep it is. Give him Chevron! Now, I assume you're like, you know, bracing yourself and reaching a hand in. Yeah, Marcus has him, right? Um, yeah, we'll go oh, I thought, he, I thought Marcus said he set him down. Yeah, Marcus oh, set him down. Marcus yeah. lowered him. Oh, I thought he was lowering him down. Well, set him down. If you want assistance, if you're feeling shaky. I just, I just need a sword. Um. 
Are you reaching for like seven of them. Are you reaching Don't. for a sword? I mean, Don't. yeah, I'm saying. With hey, which hand? My hand that had the slime on it. Okay. Give me a strength check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's good at these. Yeah. Two. Two. You're actually not able to pull your hand back out of the ooze. Oh, this is a problem. I really need to try and pull him out of the ooze. Give me a strength check. You rip his arm out of the socket. 18. 18. It takes a pretty good tug, but you're able to All right. yank well, him right out. So, so assumedly, if we test the it's going to be tough platform. to get okay. out. Yeah. Because it's bigger. Sure. Oh, it's safe now. I wouldn't <laughs> Although, maybe you could carry me as we work across. <laughs> Do you have something else we could test with? I don't want to just throw a weapon away, potentially. We found a glue pit. Sammy's gonna float on over really. to where Antoria is. Okay. Since that's the fellow cloud. Sure. Alright, Mark is gonna take out some oh, rope. Oh, you're over there. Oh, shit. So and just you guys. put the oh, end of the rope in there and see. In what? In the ooze. Okay. And see if it just kind of like slurps it up. Gross. Um, I mean. Or is it more like it needs a weight? It's not like sinking necessarily. Okay. It, doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's consciously grabbing stuff. Right. It's just sticky. Yes. Okay. Sticky in a lot and of it. Like on a tar pit. fire. Oh, yes. <laughs> there, there is a fire. <laughs> Which is a bad nearby. combination. <laughs> Look, it's, it's spreading yeah, slowly, though. Going. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, of course. It's, it is. it's spread to like a 5x5 five five square now. I need to get um, the board game where you're firefighters. Oh, I've heard of that one. Oh, yeah. Firefighters. Yeah, Firefighters, <laughs> the board game. That's the name of it. No, it's called, like, um, Firefighters. <laughs> <laughs> but it has really, really good uh, one square fire tokens, which is why I want it. Because, oh. you know, <laughs> it's Dark Sun, so <laughs> lots of stuff you know, burns down. I don't want to play it, I just want the token. Uh, I've also heard that it's a very good game. Yeah, yeah I've heard That's that too. too. Alright, well, I'll take my rope back. And... Give me a strength check. But it didn't sink. It's still, it's still in, in there. Like it's not it's like, like super it's not disappearing into it, but okay. it's in. Twenty. Twenty. Alright. Um <clears throat> I'm not gonna walk into this. Yeah, that seems like a bad like, idea. Especially considering that it's on fire. <laughs> well, it's just part of it is. Flashpoint now. Uh, Flashpoint, yeah. yeah. Flashpoint. 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 Uh, it's the name of the firefighter for you. Freya clouds over to the ladder and ends gaseous form on himself in such a way that he's holding on to the bottom of the ladder. Okay. Actually, yeah, I'm going to end gaseous form myself, too, and I'm going to be like, I have Bur an idea. Burn? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Do tell. <laughs> if it burns, maybe it freezes, and if it freezes, maybe you can walk on it safely. Okay, but do not... Do not, I repeat, do not cast this on us. Well. I'll save you. <laughs> yeah. What I saw above, it's another floor of the tower, but that's what 10, I figured. But what's 15, up there? 15, 20. It's, it was, there were, those were tentacles on the floor, right? They were not. Yeah, what was right? They were chains. chains. What was so dangerous about that? But they were floating in midair, like tentacles. They were floating in midair. So you have between... Shackles floating and ooze that is growing. You growing? chose. The... Asking... I'd like to everyone to remember that we came here on behalf of that goddamn Dre that I didn't want anything to do with. Yeah, well, he's terrible. Let's floating not magical about shackles are probably there to keep something pretty dangerous in check. Anyway, <laughs> that's not what's important right now. How are we going to get out of this situation? There's two options I see. I could try and freeze it. Or we can yeah, wait for this island nice. of chests to pile up and try and jump on the pile of chests and use that Go to get around it. Method. I'm not the, certain that that's going to be very. Those I, are going to be very solid. I think the fire is going to eat the chests anyway. All right. Well, oh god. Do the freeze method. Okay. I, I do think that freeze. freezing it's a good idea. Just bear in I mind am what going it did to, cast to those pigs. Ice storm. On the party. I actually, I'm going to cast it near the center. It's. What is this? This is pretty big. Um. 20 foot, you got 20 foot by 40 right foot cylinder, so okay. I'm going to not cast it on you guys, but where you can jump to. Oh, thank God. Saints be praised. Yeah, you can go ahead and mark it up. 
You guys can jump that, right? It's like, what, five feet? Ten feet? <laughs> Everyone but Mark. So you can <laughs> jump. I just looked it up right. for that purpose. Long jump is right. bullshit. It's such you, bullshit. You, like, your standing long jump is like your strength time. You can jump like an advent children character. Two standing, standing long jump is is half of your oh. total strength. Well, score. I guess it is half for that's, them. They're so, a tiny rock. That, for me, that's ten feet. As that's as not very far. Insane. Oh, I thought it was like ten squares. I thought well, it was ten squares. I mean, squares. Insane, but, no, huh? I thought it was ten squares. Jumping no, no, ten no. feet from a stand is that's still pretty good. Yes, I is. can do it. That's not that I'll do it right now. Uh, if you're an eighteen strength or a twenty strength, you're a beast. That's true. You can lugging jump. around a pack of fucking dragon well, bone and shit. Well, you know shit. what? I'm gonna well, put it closer to them then, just to make sure that they can jump it. to it. Okay. okay. I don't know. So here to here. Okay. So this is the spell that specifically says it leaves it as uh, um, difficult terrain. Difficult terrain. So that means it does freeze the ground. How long does it last? One round. One round. Run quick, guys. Run, <laughs> one round is how long in real life? Six, Six seconds. seconds. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So you guys can you run get across the ice. Absolutely. But you, you could double move. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you can double move. move. So that's Sixty feet. So and then the long uh, jump. Uh, oh, oh my god. Balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's here? Yeah. Okay, and then to there. Oh yeah. my god. Marcus is gonna do it. Alright. <laughs> okay, the ground is frozen, and you're doing what? So I'm gonna standing long jump. Are you carrying my feet? No! <laughs> oh god! I can't be inhibited. <laughs> do you have a fear, a fear of. Do you have a fear? fear? Never. I might. God damn it. I do have a fear. How fall? <laughs> what? How, How fall? fall? <laughs> okay. How fall? So I jumped there. Okay. <laughs> Give me an athletics check. <laughs> yeah, you have to catch yourself on ice. That is true. Oops. Ontario will climb up the ladder a few feet. 27. 27. So you fucking cover. Shit. You're like a goddamn cat. It just skates across sk it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just in a pose. <laughs> okay. There's a frozen stack of chests in front of you. Okay. And then I'm going to try my best to run and long jump. Jesus to there. fucking Christ. A chest hits you in the skull. <laughs> <laughs> From above, it falls on you. <clears throat> Ow! Everywhere. <laughs> he, he keeps going, he's dedicated. Absolutely, you take two points of damage. <laughs> Ow. Whoa, throwing somebody. He's scratching his face. He got scratchy. Hey, he got scratch. Um. Okay. It's, what's Marvin doing during all this? following him. Okay. <laughs> oh I'm gonna wait and I'll follow behind Marvin. Okay. I mean, I assume there's not much waiting since we're all fucking balls to the wall here, but... Uh, and Toria is readying a spell, a uh, wall of force. Okay. He's not casting it yet, but just in case. So what do I have to roll to do a long jump? You, you, don't, you, you don't, don't, don't have to do that, but you're landing on ice, landing. so oh. I need an athletics check. <laughs> So long, right standing him. long jump is half of your total strength score. It's How about acrobatics instead? Okay, yeah, acrobatics. Okay. Yeah, he needs at least 19. 10 to make 19, it. 19, okay. You managed to land and keep your footing. Uh, oh, to make that yeah. jump. Probably. Do you have at least 10 strength? I have 8. So you can jump... Four feet. Just I don't know. Where, uh, what if I like? What if it just I, belly flops right yeah. into the ooze. Yeah. What if Cade throws me? <laughs> oh, throws you? I don't or know. he could try and carry you. And do Marcus the jump, might have but... had a good chance of that. I don't know, Cade. Yeah. Is the Whatever. I'll just ch jump as far as I can, yeah. and like do a, a roll. I don't know. And I'll fall. I'm gonna fall right behind him. I'll d yeah, I'll just <laughs> jump as far as I can. Okay. How far could you jump? Four feet. I crit. Oh, oh, you got a 20. Well. All right. I have very strong legs. Yeah. I don't miss day like day at the gym. All right. You land on the rock outcropping. Yes. That rocks. I'll follow. So I'm going to jump down. I have to athletics on the ice. Yes. Or acrobatics. Uh, as you prefer. go with athletics. Sure. That is a uh, 22. Oh. oh. <laughs> You're good. Go ahead. <laughs> and then I'm gonna run. And how much room is there on that fucking rock at this point? That's, that's the biggest. Not a lot. 
I yes. mean, Antori is yeah. up the ladder. Yeah. You might so, run into one of us. So I'm gonna I'll might I'll run That's like funny. this with my shield. Okay. And I'm gonna I'll try to long jump and I'll just yell for Marcus to catch me if there's not enough room. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, like like this, you know, if you, in case there's not room for me to land. Uh, do you want to do like the bro thing where you grab? Yeah, we grab each other yeah. like this. And the Camera. person's holding the dude hanging over, and I'm like, how? He's <laughs> 200 pounds. <laughs> it's insane. But yeah, do I have to athletics here to jump? or? Uh, if you have a sufficient strength score, it doesn't sound like you need Running to. jump was uh, it's, your it's full crazy. Your strength score. It's your full oh, strength score. Yeah. It's fucking 18 feet. So yeah. I'm going to wall kick off. <laughs> I'd like to test that out, by the way. In like a real world situation, like the feasibility of that actually working. We should oh, probably... wall kicking? No, no, not wall kicking. Like the the grasp. Oh, oh. Like, so I would assume that. Oh, we should video that. Like zero so it's work. it's psychopathic if you think about it in terms of weight. Like yeah. the idea of like like they always do it in movies. Imagine yeah. you like leaning over a cliff like this. Yeah. I'm 215 pounds. Yeah. So imagine like. Holding on to a barbell. Yeah, and then you have to pull yourself up. The difference is if you know what you're doing, like if you see like really, really good like rock climbers and stuff mm -hmm. who know how to set their bodies, okay. they can hold each other forever because huh. they're doing something weird with physics. I'll send you pictures. <laughs> I'll send you pictures. We don't, we it's science. Yeah. It's yeah. science. I'll send you pictures of French happens. teenagers who hold each other over the ledges of buildings and then they just pull each other up. And <laughs> Je 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 Jeff was sounding really convincing there for a minute. No, I'm serious. This is a real No, thing. I know. That's that's why I stopped listening. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, let's all go down the ladder. Up, up the up. ladder. Yeah, Marcus would like to ladder. jump to this ladder. And Poria will go up a little further before that. I realize he's great at long jumping. I also you jump to the ladder. I run long jump to the ladder as well. <laughs> I'm going to assume you're just going to run up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I long jump everywhere from Spectacular. Now. Crouching tiger, hidden tiger. <laughs> I guess I could have seen if people needed help first. You guys make it up the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unless someone is actively not trying to go up the ladder, I'm you guys can make it up the ladder. Right. And you already right have the right. relevant uh, tile. Yeah. That's, and the gummy worms <laughs> on there a line? Um, There's a line. Yeah, put the, line up over there. Basically just put the ladder, ladder point ladder. where the ladder point yes. is. Yep. <laughs> what? Is this room? There's a bunch of chains just sort of dangling in midair. Oh, chains, okay. Do they look like they've been broken? They... I think there's magic here. You think? <laughs> what like, do you mean, broken? So, I mean, I don't like know if... something... It, yeah, like, so if were I were looking at this down below, you know, from my perspective, yes. it looks like... There was one big thing in the middle, <laughs> and oh. now it's gone! It does um, look like that. As a matter of fact, it doesn't look like these chains necessarily attach to anything in particular uh, mm. beyond the wall. Um, there, so there's there are hanging things. It could, like a a chain could have been holding a thing that was hanging. Uh, maybe they're actually like horizontal. Well, like they're, yeah. here's a better question: Do they end in shackles or do they? They do not end chains? in shackles. That's what I'm saying. Is okay. they're just they're literally just chains sticking out of the wall. Right. I don't understand why this was dangerous. Feel free to cross. <laughs> I will. I will start crossing. I'm gonna follow behind him. Is this a floor, by the way, or what's... yes? Okay. Yeah, I'll just walk through. No big deal. I mean, they're floating. Yeah, they're right. floating. I'm gonna stay away from them, but yeah, I'll just walk. <laughs> Marvin, right. this is insane. But... Well, it is okay. insane, but Antoria is. I'm gonna I'll follow behind him. <laughs> and Marcus will oh. follow after. All right. Uh, a nearby chain whips out at you. Uh, attempting to slam like you. What's your AC at? Can I give disadvantage? You that? can. Yeah. Thirteen. Just whizzes over your head. So, was that because of my shield block? Of course. Yeah. You just so <laughs> block it. No, uh, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna step. turn around and Tori and be like. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do see how many more of them there are between you and the stairs, right? And I'll just get down on my belly and start crawling. <clears throat> yeah, though they have advantage on. Never mind. <laughs> you do that. So there's some near this the ladder, as a matter of fact. And they begin. On the other hand, maybe we should all just get. Uh, Marcus, what, what, what's what's your AC at? Well, if you want to allow, I, I didn't mention it before, but yes. At the earliest <laughs> convenience. Yes. 
<laughs> I would like to switch to my tower shield since this seems to be a fully defensive thing. But sure, that's fine. I think that's okay. Okay. Well, in that case, do I have 22 AC? 22 AC. All right. Well, then a massive ship's uh, anchor sized chain bounces off of your shield. Tori will start doing the dodge action. Yeah, what does that look like? <laughs> with with this, this case, since there's no need for a knife dance, he's just literally just trying to dodge out of the way of anything that comes near him. Jazz hands? <laughs> well, he doesn't need to do that. There's nothing to it. <clears throat> I've got a better approach. I'm going to Misty Step right here towards the exit. Oh! <laughs> I know Misty Step's the okay. <laughs> That's why they're like, how are you going to get across? I was right. like, well, <laughs> I can get me across easily. But... <laughs> I can't do that for other people. Yeah. Sleep you might want to get away from those chains, though. Yeah, yeah I guess it's... Misty Step's a bonus action, so yeah, I can do it still. Is that up or downstairs? It is up. Okay. I'm just going to wait. Uh, is, are the stairs safely out of chain slap? They, uh, they, they're not targeting you anymore. Okay, All then right. I'm going to just wait halfway. Victoria will also Misty Step across <laughs> to the stairs. Cade, one of them slams you right on the noggin. Ow. You take oh, I seven a, points of damage. Is it I have something. Magical damage? It is not. I have something that might help. give me a dex save. Oh. Not upgraded dex. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, it wraps around you. Good. You are restrained. Good. Um, I'm gonna start casting minor illusions of people. Just scanning in random spots. Okay. See if the chains will attack them instead, maybe. Okay. Oh, cool. Marcus would like to take his bone longsword one hander and try and slash the chain that's attached it. Okay. Maybe just cut his arm off. Yeah. I could do that. <laughs> well, I think it wrapped my it. body, so. Yeah. Cut me in half. Yeah. <laughs> to take the bigger piece with you. Double attack if necessary. Okay. Well, there's a 10. Does that hit? Uh, I mean. It's easy to hit, but it doesn't seem to connect, if that makes sense. Like, it's... Okay. The um, chains have an int save, DC 16, if they to see if they want the illusion or not. As a matter of fact, they don't react. Okay. It was worth a shot. <laughs> Alright. Are going to attack again? Or... I mean... Sure. <laughs> I mean, do whatever you're going to do. Double attack. Um, if I attack once, might as well attack again. Uh, 18. 18. Okay. The chain squeezes pretty tight. You take another 13 points of damage. Okay. You can give me a strength check to try and get out. Fifteen. You you wiggle, but to no avail. And can I take action while I'm grappled? You or? can. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go and just misty step out. Though. Okay. <laughs> <fall out. laughs> wow. That's, that's pretty good. Look, I was gonna escort yeah, yeah. out, but once it grappled me, I'm not gonna just fucking sit there and. Get that's the fair. Speech. I'm just I'm amazed with how quickly the party just leaves Marvin to his death in every single room. Eh. He needs to get some fucking mobility magic <laughs> instead of all fireballs. To be fair, he'd kill me if he knew I had his mask. <laughs> well, we'll what? That. Nothing. Ah. I, uh, I'm continuing on. Okay. I, I don't know how far yeah. I can move. Like, Marcus, take I'll care just, of Marvin. I'll see yeah, if I make it all the way to the edge. Uh, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> My intention was to be there defensively, but frustratingly, I don't hit you once. That's wow. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, wow. I'm gonna, you know, walk up to Antoria and say, "Look at that!" Without Misty Step. Nicely done. What are you doing, Marcus? No big deal. Marcus is gonna like if you had been whirlwind like with his shield yes. while moving in that direction. Of I was course, say, you, you could have shattered these. Yeah. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. You could take a dodge action, I guess. Yay. Uh, well, no, I'm just gonna move. <clears throat> Trudging we on. Go! Yep. Good. Get up. And why don't we find out what's up the set of stairs next week? Okay, well. Sound good? Sounds yeah, good. Good. Right. good game. Yay! D&D is back! Yay. <laughs> what are you yeah. aiming at? Are you just looking at me? I was just saying D&D is back in general. I mean, okay. I no, I thought you were aiming at a camera. No, I, I, mean, I hey, have very there. poor... There you go. Praise Yay. somebody! Yay. Praise Yay. somebody! Yay. <laughs> you need your flag. Figure. Yeah, where's the flag? Where is the flag? Where is the flag? You can make a bigger flag. Like, I want like a full, like, <laughs> 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 
Well... No, if I mention okay. this, Brennan might actually make it as the thing. There's a good chance that it, that it, will it happen. It has been known to happen. Um, so as a reminder, next week, I have to pick up my dumb wife from Ireland. <laughs> Uh, Man. Are you flying there? Or are you I have to fly there <laughs> and then fly her back. God. Uh, no. So but, needy. So I basically have to be out of here a little bit earlier than now-ish. Okay. So, you know, like 10 to 15. We before. will work it out. Yeah. Cool. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, good game, everyone. Yeah. We'll see everyone back here uh, on Tuesday of next week for more Dungeons & Dragons. And we'll be back here on Thursday where we continue uh, board games. We're continuing on with the second half of our Pandemic Legacy campaign. Yeah. Um, cool. Yep. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks Bye, again. Bye. Thank you all.